Welcome to Hilton Head Christian Academy, the home of the Eagles for the season finale, at least the regular season finale for the Eagles and Hilton Head Prep. Bob Stevens along with Mike Covert. It is also Halloween. Mike it has is. come dressed as a Boston Red Sox. I like the beard. That That's works. That's right. I am, uh, you could call us uh, maybe Napoli or yeah, something. Yeah, Mike Napoli. But I like did that. You notice, did you notice uh, these? You also brought the gloves. These are the same gloves. I don't know if you exact folks Exact same this. gloves, yeah. Exact same gloves. Exact same gloves. That big poppy, David Ortiz. Yeah war the other <laughs> night when he jacked one yeah can't have can't put that one on but when he okay. jacked it so the purpose of this yes leading into this football game tonight between the dolphins and the eagles bob is that just like david ortiz wears these when he comes to bring it hilton head christian they're bringing it do you watch David Ortiz and the pep talk he gave his team in the in, in the dugout in St. Louis? That's the kind of thing you do, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Once That's a week? I, I do it in a little bit more fluent English, but I, it's broken, but I got the point. You I got the, the message point. across. Absolutely. That's the important thing. Absolutely. The two coaches trying to get their yeah. message across tonight. For Hilton Head Prep and Kevin Wall, this is their last game. They're not going to the playoffs. Uh, we, got, we got all kinds of Halloween folks running around here. It's, it's nuts. Uh, it, they're done. This is yeah. it. But yeah. a final game for an awful lot of seniors, it's going to be a special night for them. Hey, you know, uh, just like uh, at work, I tell my guys, you know, this may be the last one you do of this, the last one you do of that. Let's make it your best one. And it wouldn't surprise me if Hilton Head Prep is, has come in tonight with that in mind, thinking, you know what, let's show the Cross Island, mm -hmm. uh, as we at the Cross Island, Cross Island Bowl, Bowl, matter yes. of fact, uh, let's show those boys just what we're all about. I think it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, I do put, uh, I have to give my nod to the Eagles, but I tell you what, like we were talking earlier, uh, don't count anybody out. Well. Halloween, weird things happen. <laughs> Yeah, they certainly do, and especially in a rivalry game. We saw yeah. that terrific rivalry game between Bluffton High and Hilton Head High earlier this year where strange things happened, uh, including three onside kicks in a row, and, and Hilton Head High pulled an upset. Certainly, Christian Academy would be a slight favorite here. They got more football to play. They are a, a division champion. They're going to have a home game coming up next week, uh, but they still want to get past this one because they don't want to hear about it for another year from the guys on the other side of the island. Absolutely, and and uh, Coach Ryan Mitch, is, I'm sure he is telling his players week in or, or day in and day out in the locker room, do not look past the next opponent. Nothing changes here with Hilton Head Prep. You can't look past them. You know, it's very easy to say, is Christian looking backwards towards Thomas Hayward? That was a pretty tough defeat. Mm -hmm. Well, if you look backwards, you may end up with an L tonight instead of that big win. Christian Academy has won six in a row. Hilton Head Prep has a two-game winning streak, their first one all year. And they would love to go into the offseason on a three-game winning streak. Uh, two teams who do a lot of the same kind of thing. Tyler Fox and, uh, of course, Teron Daly uh, run the offense for Prep. And then uh, Brad Meccarello, and uh, they've got a great running back as well. That uh, it, it almost mirror images. Big time. And Meccarello yeah. is a former uh, Lava 24 fan fitness player of the game there out there at uh, Thomas Hayward a few weeks ago. And they just bring a complete package. Skis of football, like I said then, it is really something else. And I tell you what, just like the Boston Red Sox, when <laughs> David Ortiz gets up there and he looks in that corner and he calls it, tonight Hilton Head Christian is going to look at that scoreboard and they're going to call it. Whichever defense gets the job done on the other team's offense is probably going to be the one that calls it just like it was in the World Series. Our Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series continues. We're going to talk with the coaches before kickoff when we come back. Like David Ortiz. Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a Covert Air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business.
husband and I, we don't always agree on decorating decisions. But he did make a huge improvement upstairs in the attic. Just by adding insulation, he saved us $240 last year on our heating and cooling. It's a uh, work in progress. What can you do? Find out at TogetherWeSave.com. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. I bought this. I saw it, I wanted it, so I got it. I put my hand in, cookies come out. One more time, hand in, cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start at TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. I'm just in love with the flavor. I get mine black, I don't want to take away from that pure taste. So smooth, no bitterness, it's awesome. There's no other taste like it. America runs on Dunkin' Coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Dunkin' Donuts on Hilton Head, in Beaufort, and off of I-95 at Exit 8. Have you been in the zone? Sports Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sports Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more, Sports Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sports Zone. H, H Auto Service and H, H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H, H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H, H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H, &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Back with Hilton Head Christian Academy head coach Brian, Ryan Mitch. Ryan, you came down here, start the season, yeah. first season after yeah. this team's won however many state titles, four in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. and lose the first two games. Yeah. You begin to think, man, this South Carolina thing's a different thing than it is up north? No, you know, I, I had faith in what we were doing. We just had to change a couple of things up. We were on the right path. The, you know, we played really well against Ham in the first game. They just had more guys than us. And the second game was was something bad, so we kind of had to right the ship a little bit, change things around in practice, and, and just kind of what we did as a team that's worked so far. You got to be flexible, and you were, and now yeah. you've won six in a row. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't just the offense is, is what everyone's talked about—the offensive changes, but the defense went from a 50 front to a 40 front, and, and we were really flexible on, on kind of everything that we did, and it's it's been good. All right, coach. Tonight you come in here, uh, your team is fired up. We seen them just leave the field. Yeah. Uh, give me a take on this Dolphin defense from down the end of the island. Mm -hmm. You have to be looking towards next week, or are you? No. What have you been doing to keep these kids' mind on prep 
and not Sumter or some of the other school? You know, I, I don't think it needed any any you know extra motivation. It's prep. It's the same thing every year. You know, it's their it's their Super Bowl. It's our Super Bowl for kind of you know the end of the season. It's the last game every year. We're pumped up. They're pumped up. So it's you know going into practice this week with everything that happened last week. I was I was ready for a letdown, and it, it really wasn't there. Tell me a quick story about your education into the rivalry. Yeah. Who's told you the stories? Well, it's, you know, I've gotten emails and calls and text messages from people I've never heard of before, <laughs> kind of just telling me, you know, we don't lose this game and, and <laughs> we can never be prepared by you know enough. So uh, my education was pretty quick this week. Good no, luck to no you. No pressure on you. Yeah, no, no pressure. No, no, no. That's, yeah, I've heard that a lot today. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cool. We're going to be back and talk, and talk with Hilton Head Preps coach Kevin Wald when we come back on the Hilton Head Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series pregame show. I still think that looks like Big Poppy. It does look. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. What we have here is Chrysler 300, brand new, 3.6 Pentastar, made in the U.S. of A. Eight-speed transmission, give you 31 miles to the gallon. Best in class, 8.4 touchscreen radio, backup camera, navigation, including Beats by Dre. Come take a test drive, I'll save you $2,000. Ask for Charles Manigo. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. With Coach Kevin Wald at Hilton Head Prep coming off a very nice win, two in a row for the first time this season. You feel the team has a little momentum? I do. You know, we hope to build off what we did last uh, Friday. You know, we, we want to play very clean tonight. Um, no, no turnovers, no drive killers. If we do that and we can continue to run the ball, we feel like maybe we'll have a shot tonight. Coach, I'm going to change this all up. We're going to quit talking about football so much. I have to say that the facilities at Hilton Head Prep prep or one of the nicest facilities I've ever been to. How in the world do you guys have such a beautiful stadium and the facilities and, and uh, you know not taking anything away from anybody else but you guys have got a class act over there in Sea Pines. There's no question about it. For a small private school I'll put our gym and our field house up against anybody um, around. Uh, I think the reason that is is the parents and, and the alumni you know care about the school and support it so much. Absolutely, and I could think of only one thing that could even make that even a little bit better. Yeah. And that's like a covert air emblem in the end zone. There you oh, go. They need there one of those. We'll I'll see. Kevin, Kevin, I'll tell you, you what, next, next, year, week. next year we'll see what yeah, we yeah. can do. Tonight, though, you've got uh, <laughs> you've got a daunting task ahead of you. Uh, it is the Super Bowl for you guys. Absolutely. Your, your boys have to know. Have you told them, fellas, leave it all on the field, nothing behind, this is it. Absolutely. You know, coming over here, I took about three roll aids because, you know, we're – we're worried about stopping not only Devontae Doe, but also Brad Macarella, two just outstanding football players. And, uh, you know, we, we've, we've changed things up defensively a little bit for this game tonight, and hopefully it's effective for us. Last game for your seniors. I know they're excited. They are. You know, they, uh, they've had a great week of practice, and uh, I don't expect anything but their best tonight. All right. Good luck to you. Good luck to the team. You've got experience in this series, at least. You've got something on Coach Mitch there. Sure. You know, last year, what I was impressed about the most is this is such a healthy rivalry, and the crowd out here tonight for two small private schools will be fantastic. Uh, well, Good luck to you. Thanks thank so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank All right. You. We're going to be back with kickoff, the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series Cross Island Bowl, right here on WHHI Sports. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets. <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. 
Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota from Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air, the Low Country's leader in HVAC service repair, replacement, and maintenance. Summertime tip for you with the heat on, when you're outside cutting the grass, don't forget your air conditioner when you're done. All those grass clippings can cause the air conditioner to clog up. Be good to your AC and take a water hose and spray off the fins. Your air conditioner will thank you. Thanks a lot. calls us her dynamic duo. We turn off lights that aren't being used. And other stuff. She says we're saving the planet, but we know we save her gobs of money too. We're saving energy by turning things off. What can you do? Find out at togetherwesave.com. To the fire and water cleanup team at 1 800 Serve Pro. Like it never even happened. Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI-TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. We welcome you back to the Cross Island Bowl, Hilton Head Prep and Hilton Head Christian Academy. The Dolphins, yeah, they even brought their inflatable helmet from the south end of town to the uh, north end of the island as they get ready for the kickoff. And yes, it is indeed Halloween <laughs> as everybody here at Christian Academy is dressed up and excited about the annual rivalry game. Chuck Zapek, you've witnessed a few of these. We've had great rivalry games all year on uh, the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. None better than the other one we had played on the island, Bluffton and Hilton had earlier in the season. Yeah, exactly right, Bob. We got a team that really needs to make it a rivalry, and that's Hilton had prep. They haven't won this game in six years. Uh, so coming into the night's game, they're 0-3 in the region for the second year in a row. I'm sure they'd like to finish off the season with a victory in the region against their biggest rival, Hilton Head Christian Academy. Something we talked about with both of the coaches before the game. Christian's got more football to play. They're going to be playing somebody next week in the playoffs. This is it for prep and the, for the seniors at prep. And I want to talk to you more as the game goes along, what it's like to know that this may indeed be your last football game. And, uh, I would imagine the kids from prep are going to play with a little extra passion. Oh, they certainly will. But one of the guys that may not be playing in his last football game is the guy they have to rely on awful a lot tonight. That's Teron Daly. Daly <laughs> scored three touchdowns last year. You know, Bob, he scored 24 rushing touchdowns so far this year out of his 28 touchdowns. He averages 12 and a half yards per carry and over 1,700 yards for the season so far. What a great performance in only eight games so far. And yet on the other side of the field, in eight games, Devontae Doe has run for almost 1,400 yards. He has 20 touchdowns this season, 18 of them on the ground, two through the air. So it's going to be a great job for feature backs, a great night for them, a great night for quarterbacks. 
And again, I think whichever defense shows up tonight will be the one that probably comes out ahead. We're going to see a lot of scoring. <laughs> that's for sure. Both teams are averaging over 35 points per game, Bob. And I think you're exactly right. It's going to be which team can hold them and get some three and outs that's going to be able to get their offense back on the field to score some more points. Hilton head prep in white. That's Waddy Brooks, the 110-pound freshman kicker. He has kicked it off deep to Christian Academy. And Devontae Doe gets it inside his own 20. Out past the 30. Out across the 40-yard line. Good field position for the Eagles of Hilton and Christian. Uh, good blocking up front by the special teams. Christian Academy gets pretty good field position here. Devontae Doe, as you mentioned, 20 touchdowns rushing. It's really more or less like a three-headed monster though for Christian Academy. Not only do they have Devontae Doe who can do it, you got Brad Macarello, the senior, going both ways. And he can, he can run with the football. And D'Angelo Clark, number 22, is also another threat coming out of the backfield. Normally, Christian runs the diamond offense with all four men in the backfield, but they split it out early on. The first give is to D'Angelo Clark, trying to find some room on the right side, and he finds nothing. Yeah, that's the under, underhand speed sweep that they run from Clark, coming from left to right. Nice job that time by Luke Higgs. No, I'm sorry, but nice job that time for uh, on defense. By, pre uh, by prep to make the stop. Preps James Leonard making the tackle. He had a terrific week last week against St. Andrews of Savannah. Loss of two for D'Angelo Clark. And now we see the more conventional diamond backfield for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Brad Macarello making the decision to pitch it to Devontae Doe. Doe picking his spots and gets out of bounds up across the 45. It gives us a chance to set that off of that defense for prep. They're starting tonight, 86, Trey Mee Colquitt, 63, Zane Braden, 22, Gavin Herbert, and 59, Shane Topper. Topper has five sacks in the year and leads the team in defensive attack, attack sacks. A gain of 11 for Devontae Doe, but it still gives them a third down and a long one. First minute of action. Glad you're with us here on WHHI. Macarello hands it to Doe, gets the first down yardage. That'll be a Walgreens first down, and boy, he picks a spot, picks up about six more. Well, they got pretty good blocking up front. One of the things that makes this offense go for Christian Academy is the offensive line, and you can see some big blocking up front, particularly by Mac Viljack, number 72. He's their right guard, and he leads the way for double D. Devontae Doe for a Walgreens first down. Now Macarello sets up in the diamond formation, first and 10 at the prep 45. Rolling out to the left this time, pitches it back to Doe. Doe is in the midst of Logan Mallett in a hurry. Mallett takes him down after a very short game, just a couple of yards. Oh, Bobby, you talk about playing the last game. Logan Mallett, he's one of the captains on the team here. He comes over and makes a great tackle, number 57. Logan Mallett, 5'10", 170 pounds, he's a senior. Goes both ways. Strong player. He's, we've seen him play for four years here at prep. Would like to go to either Georgia or Clemson. So he, he loves his football. <laughs> Would like to see it continue maybe on a Saturday. Twin set to the top of your screen. Macarello gives it to the man inside. That's uh, D'Angelo Clark, the junior. He'll get an awful lot of carries next year with uh, Doe graduating. And they got to find a place for Doe to go to college. And they got D'Angelo Williams, who played for this team last year. I'm sorry, uh, uh, yeah, and they played for this team last year. Uh, that, that now plays at Wofford. Williams was a running back, and I don't know if they'll get a chance to get Doe going there too, but he's, he can play at the next level. Gain of five. There's that diamond backfield you were talking about. Oops, a bad snap, but it snapped it right into the hands of Doe. However, he is met in a hurry by the front wall of Hilton Head Prep. Devontae Doe comes hobbling off. It looks like his left leg bothering him just a little bit. Jake Topper making the play. That had Reese Dolnick, number 35, back in the backfield, too. That was a strong set coming out with the diamond. It's a pistol with two running backs to either side of the, of, the, of the quarterback. So Doe loses three there. We've got a timeout called on a field, a Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro Buford County helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. 
H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. The Real Estate News airs daily with new editions premiering on Fridays at 4 p.m. Thank you for watching. I'm Jenny Lockhart for The Real Estate News, making a positive impact and leading the real estate market. We are back at the home of the Eagles, Hilton Head Christian Academy, scoreless in the Cross Island Bowl in the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. They have it all at New River Auto Mall, over a thousand vehicles at 12 dealerships in one location. Back to kick for Hilton Head Christian Academy, J.R. Moise, he does all of their kicking, kickoffs, extra points, and punts. Back just across his own 50. I put that his own 50 in there for you Canadian footballers because there's two 50 yard lines. You remember that? <laughs> too well. 55 huh? yard line. That's right, the 55 in the middle. But yeah, one other correction I want to make too is Jamario Williams, who played at Christian Academy last that year, is now as a freshman at Wofford. Fourth down and 13 as the uh, procedure penalty is called against Christian Academy. Trying to get prep to jump off sides. Makes the punt from midfield just a little longer. Left-footed kicker, Moise. Gets it high in the air. Wobbles a little bit, but then takes a Christian Academy bounce. And is finally touched up near the 25-yard line. So Hilton Head Prep will get the ball for the first time in the game. 8.53 left of the first quarter. We are scoreless in the regular season finale for both teams. Again, Christian Academy, by winning its region, will be playing and likely at home Next week, Hilton Head Prep will hang it up after what they hope is a 6-4 and four season. Yeah, Tyler they... Fox, number 25 at quarterback. He gives it to his big running back, Teron Daly. Daly trying to find some running room, and he is stopped quickly by Christian Academy's Chris Edwards. Edwards makes a great, great tackle here. One of the few times I've seen Teron Daly take the bait and try to make a shake move Chris to the outside Edwards rather than load a pads and go up the middle and get what you can. But Teron Daly, he's 5'10", 170 pounds. As we mentioned, 28 touchdowns on the season so far. Now Fox in the power formation. Pitches it back to Daly, trying to find some room on the left side. Got a couple of blockers out in front of him and he powers forward across the 30. Number 18, Alex Cooler. Looks like it'll bring up a third and short. Yeah, Daly's a pretty tough runner here. He shows his stuff right Dolphins here as he gets down. to the outside. Now he's kind of powering his way up there. But Daly, you know, he's a great offensive threat, but he's not a bad defensive threat either, as we'll see tonight. He plays linebacker and had over 100 tackles last year as a linebacker. Third down and six for Hilton Head Prep. Tyler Fox, he's got an arm, lets it fly, and he hits John Larson for the catch. I'm not sure he got enough for a first down, though. Well, this is why I was so impressed last week with Tyler Fox. You know, they loaded up to stop Daly at St. Andrews last week, and then that allowed Fox to throw three touchdown passes by go, by drop uh, in his drop back position. This time, the wide receiver doesn't get enough for the first down. You'll have to turn it over here on fourth. Fourth down and about three. It'll be uh, Dorsey Barker kicking. He's kind of the pooch kicker. He's faking it, trying to get loose, and great penetration by Hilton Head Christian by number seven, Nick Perosi. Plays linebacker, plays a lot in the nickel package, and he smelled out that fake punt. And Christian Academy is going to take over in great field position at the Dolphin 25. Wow. Oh. Not the way they wanted to start with a bad snap. There you see some of the Christian Academy faithful on the Halloween night. <laughs> Brad Maccarello. 
trying to get a treat out of his running back. Robert Clark. Robert, Clark. Robert Clark comes in number 55. He was injured last week and did not play versus St. Andrews. He's, he's, a, he's really a stalwart to that defensive line. And 55, Clark, he's the middle linebacker. He makes a nice tackle on, on that running on the first down. He told you personally last week, he says, I'm going to play. I'm going to play in that Christian Academy game. And he is right there and right in the middle of the defense for the Dolphins. Faking on the play action. Maccarello goes to the end zone. Touchdown to Clark. Well, this is the area in the field. If you're going to run a play action pass, you'll do it right down in here, right inside the 25 yard line. Macaro pulls the ball out on a play action fake. Connects into the back of the end zone. Now you saw Tyler Fox trying to defend it from his cornerback spot and, and could not get back in time. So D'Angelo Clark is in the end zone. Christian Academy takes advantage of a botched failed punt and gets it in the end zone with 6-12 left. The Eagles lead it 7-0 on WHHI Sports TV. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. What we have here is Chrysler 300, brand new, 3.6 pentastar, made in the U.S. of A. Eight-speed transmission, give you 31 miles to the gallon. Best in class, 8.4 touchscreen radio, backup camera, navigation, including Beats by Dre. Come take a test drive, I'll save you $2,000. Ask for Charles Manigo. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. Christian Academy now set to kick off to Hilton Head Prep. After that two play drive that resulted in a touchdown after the uh, botched fake punt. Deep to Noah Sulik, about the goal line, trying to pick some room and is finally tackled by Perosi. Up near the 20 yard line. Ball just about touching the 20. Yeah, you'll see Prosley come in. He's running hard downfield, leads his way, comes in, and makes first contact along with number 72, Mac Bilzek, and make the tackle. First and 10 at the 20 for the Dolphins. Five and four on the season. They beat the same five teams they beat a year ago. They lost to the same four teams. Last year they finished five and five with the sixth of those six straight losses to Christian Academy. Here's a wrinkle, Bob. We got number 55 back in the backfield for Hilton Head Prep. Yeah, we were promised a couple of wrinkles. The give was to Robert Clark. Going both ways in his final game as a senior. Sort of like Puna Ford for, yeah. Hilton, for Hilton Head High. Trying to run the hammer in there. The son of a Marine hero here on the island. Robert Clark's a senior, 5'10", 205 pounds. So on a second down and now six. Tyler Fox gonna pitch it back to Teron Daly. Daly cuts back and is brought down by Chris Edwards. Now I'm impressed with this run. You may not think it's going very far, but look what he does. He heads up and he sees he's cut off the pass, and now he does what I said last time. Yep. Turn up field, come in, you know you're gonna get the contact, but don't expose your body. Put it up there, get going north and south, be able to take the hit off, and you know now, now it's a makeable first down. Third and two. Gain of four, Tyler Fox, three carries for eight yards. And he's, he's a little David Ortiz, got a little of that in him though. He's a home run hitter and at any time can go off. We saw that happen last week against St. Andrews. Daly right up the middle, gets the first down and more. Busting into the secondary before Meccarello brings him down near the 40 yard line. Yeah, he's got the mojo now. You know, that first time he danced a little bit around the end. Now he's running, he's getting going up north and south inside between the tackles. Picks up a couple of key blocks in there. 75 for Hilton Head Prep throws a nice block. Is able to spring him into the secondary. That was Brandon Mitchell, their right guard, making a nice block for him. Gain of 13 and a first down for Hilton Head Prep. First first down of the game. 
Daly again, this time off tackle, and again gets into the secondary. Finally brought down, Luke Higgs a part of that. Oh, it looks like they found something they want to do there between Brandon Mitchell and Sean Topper. You'll see they're throwing the blocks for them, and that's who they're following. Number 59, Topper, holds, wards his man off. The senior opens up the hole for a six-yard game. Five carries now for 27 yards for Tyler Fox. You see Nick Sulik break the huddle. He'll be wide to the top of your screen, the left of the formation. Clark back in the backfield with Daly. Clark leading Daly right through the hole, and Daly gets up across midfield for the first down. Well, they found the formula. It's running behind Topper, number 59. And then they've got next to him. Well, watch Robert Clark, the fullback, 55. <laughs> he got all that open space. In fact, Daly pushing him forward said, hey, you got to run faster if you're going to be in front of me. Well, Walgreens first down for Hilton Head Prep. Fox brings him out. He's got Cold Gardaki to the bottom of the screen. Gives it to Daly. Daly right up the middle. Cole Frederick, the center, number 58. Also in there, you'll see him throws a nice block on the linebacker. Logan Mallett going both ways at left guard, number 57. Now John Larson, the tight end on the left side of the formation. Nick Sulik, wide out, right in front of you there as you see the picture. And then the give is to Teron Daly. Run out of bounds, short of the first down. I think this is a statement by Coach Wald. Wal He's gonna take them on. He's gonna run the football until they take you off the field, but I think it's a, that's a good decision. Gain of only two there, third down and five. Keeps the ball out of Christian Academy's hands too. Yeah, the best offense tonight for Hilton Head Prep might be, or the best defense might be their own offense. Keep the explosive Eagles off the field. Fox. Changing the play and then deciding he wants a timeout. We've got a timeout, a serve pro timeout called on the field by Hilton Head Prep. Serve Pro of Beaufort County helps make fire and water damage look like it never even happened. It's 7-0 Christian Academy. On WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota. From Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. The Low Country's number one team for heating and air service, offering the highest level of customer satisfaction, Covert Air. They're our sponsor of the Cross Island Bowl tonight. Third and five, big play here for Hilton Head Prep. Fox gets it out to Gardaki, who's got it for a first down. So run, 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 pass. And it works to Gardaki. And Gardaki's almost six foot four. You'll see him come out there. He runs a little pick play and he gets himself open. Nicely thrown by Fox. You know, I was really impressed with Tyler Fox last year or last week. You know, he's just a sophomore. He came in, he's got a year under his belt now. And uh, last week he did the same thing. He was able to hit the opening receiver uh, and that's why he threw for three touchdowns. Gain of 13 to the Christian Academy, 30. Fox. Gives it to Daly, right up the middle. What a great first step, busts into the secondary. He takes it home. Touchdown, Dolphins. Wow. I guess he must have heard me. <laughs> no more moves to the outside, Teron. Get north and south, get behind that offensive line. Cole Fredericks 
In 75, you'll see him. In 57, Logan Mallett throwing a block swarm. He gets into the secondary, and this is where he's so elusive because he can swivel the hips, keep his speed, and keep his balance going straight ahead. That's a great run by Teron Daly. That's number touchdown rushing for this year, number 25. The extra point is good by Waddy Brooks. And with 2.01 left in the first quarter, we are tied 7-7. Hilton Head Prep and Hilton Head Christian Academy. On WHHI Sports TV. Drinking Duncan. Definitely Duncan. It's always Duncan. Nothing but Duncan. It tastes awesome. It's my absolute favorite. I run on Duncan. America runs on Duncan Coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Back at the home of the Eagles, Hilton Head Christian Academy. Final regular season game of the season, the Cross Island Bowl. Big rivalry game. Hilton Head Prep has lost the last six in the rivalry, but they have tied it up at seven. Little short squibby kick. Grabbed by one of the up men for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Trying to find some room. That's Ryan Barrett, the junior. And Bob, that now you just saw why they do squib kicks and try to get the ball to the uh, you, you don't want <laughs> Devonte Doe running it back. It's not the same return as having Doe. He makes a good effort, though. Good special teams. Well, nice, nice choice by the coach. And you know what? On the opening kickoff, Doe brought it out to the 40. Where do they start this series from? The 40. Same place. Just a little less risk involved. They break out of the diamond. Macarello, the senior quarterback, rolling right, then keeping it up the middle. He's into the secondary. Macarello making a big run out of this. He might go all the way. They're still chasing him. Finally, a last-ditch touchdown-saving tackle by Sean O'Connor at the five-yard line. Nice. Great job here as he runs the down-the-line option. Pitchman is caught between, they don't block him this time, he, he's able to cut back and he outruns number 14. That's Church, it's EJ Church, it's a sophomore. Misses the tackle, but eight saves the day, that's Sean O'Connor. <laughs> Macarella, a little disappointed he didn't take it all the way in. 56 yard run. And it is first and goal at the four as Christian Academy answers the daily 30-yard touchdown run with a home run play of their own by Maccarello. Devontae Doe out of the right side and Waltz is into the end zone. Devontae Doe, his 19th rushing touchdown, his 21st touchdown overall. And we now have a 13-7 lead for Christian Academy. Yeah, good job, but the offensive line for Christian Academy just kind of walled off there for him. He's able to give him a running lane in there for the touchdown. J.R. Moise on for the extra point and the Maccarello hold. The kick is up and it is good. And with a minute 18 left in the first quarter, we predicted a high scoring game. Got one, 14-7 already in favor of Christian Academy. On WHHI Sports TV. I bought this. I saw it, I wanted it, so I got it. I put my hand in, cookies come out. One more time, hand in, cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team at 1-800-SURF-PRO. Like it never even happened. Well, on a Halloween night, it's actually more like the 4th of July. We have seen a lot of fireworks here 
in the first quarter, a 14 to seven Christian Academy lead. And they're gonna go ahead and bounce the kick down the field as well, That's but Daly. Daly gets a hold of it. And he's got his Brafter burner on to the 30, to the 40, to midfield. It's fun watching these great backs play, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Fun, John Daly. I was going to say, Bob, coming into tonight's game, he averages 45 yards a return. He came up a little short there. It's only a 40-yard return. <laughs> That's only because the kick was short, right? <laughs> Finally wrestled down by Luke Higgs, number 12. Great story on Luke Higgs we'll tell here in a moment. Trotting off the field is Noah Sulek for Hilton Head Prep. They go with the extra running back. The give is to Daly. Daly, <laughs> even when he falls down, he falls forward five yards. Hey, yeah, he's getting some pretty good blocking up front there too with his offensive line. They're open, they're, they're holding their blocks. They're not letting anybody come off, and that's a good job by fit the center, Cole Frederick, and Brandon Mitchell, 75, and John Horner, number 50. Ten carries, 74 yards for Teron Daly. Low is average. He's 12 and a half. But he's already got 74 yards in the first quarter. Do some multiplication. And he's going to have a huge night. Final minute of the first quarter. Daly again. Question is, can he carry it 40 times? That's his 11th carry of the first quarter. He is stumped. Back in the backfield, and Prep will have some work to do as we make the turn at the end of the first quarter. Loss of about five there. Frank Smith came up on a middle linebacker. Well, Smith plays back in the secondary. Somehow he got up in there in a linebacker position. And we are going to come to the end of the first quarter. Here in the Cross Island Bowl at the home of the Eagles, Hilton Head Christian leads Hilton Head Prep 14 to seven. On WHHI Sports TV. Oh, Salvador, oh, Salvador. You're sly as a fox, Salvador. Captain Cherokee sitting in a tree, a kiwi waving back at me. Honey, won't you be the salty dog? Oh, salty dog, oh, salty dog. This die is a fox, a salty dog. Down the southeast, sitting by the dog, singing a song about a salty dog. Honey, won't you be the salty dog? My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets. <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. We are back, and it is obviously Halloween night here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. A lot of great costumes. Mike Covert doing his best. Mike Napoli of the Red Sox before the game, and also his uh, David Ortiz. And we got a lot of... Is there anything Mike Covert can't do? There is nothing Mike Covert cannot do. <laughs> that, is a, that is a negative. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun with Mike take, and with the whole crew. Excuse me, I take that back. I, I, I cannot wear a tutu. <laughs> we were afraid after watching Matt Lauer today they, dressed up exactly. like, uh, yeah, they yeah just in don't a make them, suit. They don't make them in a 3X, so we, we just won't go there. We'll go back to you guys. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that is a picture yeah. uh, we don't want to We don't want to see. All right. There you see Coach Ryan Mitch in the pink shirt, honoring Breast Cancer Awareness Month and also making himself very visible on the sidelines. Well, Ryan Mitch is in his first season at Hilton Head Christian Academy in a tough situation. He's got a back-to-back -back state championship that he's got to follow up. And then Tommy Lewis, who was the original coach here at, at uh, Christian Academy, they've only had football here 11 years, started by the great Jim Carlin, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Kyler Fox, at quarterback, single setback is Daly, and Fox is going to carry it himself for the first time. And on third right, down Tyler and 10, Fox, Fox gets about right. half of it. It's a little bit almost like the wildcat. They try to get Fox on the corner. Tyron Daly throws a pretty nice block. Pretty good block on the outside there, too. Put his head right in there. He wasn't afraid to do it. Fourth and five, but in plus territory. We'll see if Hilton Hep Prep decides to try something 
a little bit different here, or if they go ahead and punt the football. Cole Gardaki is halfway back. He can punt it. Dorsey Barker is usually their pooch punter. And now we've had a timeout called by the Dolphins of Hilton Head Prep. They trail 14-7 for WHHI Sports TV. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. I'm just in love with the flavor. I get mine black. I don't want to take away from that pure taste. So smooth. No bitterness. It's awesome. There's no other taste like it. America runs on Dunkin' Coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Dunkin' Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with another tip for fall from Covert Air. Do you smell that? That's right, no smell. Could have been carbon monoxide poisoning. Here at Covert Air, all new maintenance agreement customers receive a free carbon monoxide detector. $75 value, yours free with a new energy savings agreement. So this fall, get your air conditioning and heating tuned up and a $75 value carbon monoxide detector free from Covert Air. Cole Gardaki kicks it very high trying to pin Christian Academy deep, but it goes off the side of his foot just a little bit, and he kicked it short. Right there, 27. I've seen a Gardaki punt a ball a few times. You have? You have? <laughs> <laughs> For 15 years with the Pittsburgh Steelers, his dad did it. His father, Chris, certainly a legend here on the island at Clemson, and uh, certainly uh, we wish him well. A speedy recovery after hip replacement surgery. He's back, not punting the ball much right now. And now Hilton Head Christian, for the first time in the game, will really start back in their own end. They break out of the diamond, trips to the lower part of the screen. Now Devontae Doe moves back into the backfield with Brad Maccarello, the quarterback. Doe gets it off tackle. And Devontae Doe, who had five carries for 20 yards in the first quarter, has his helmet come off, so he'll have to come out for a play. You know, you got to give a lot of credit to Ryan Mitch coming in here as the new head coach following Tommy Lewis, who won four state championships. He comes in, and now he only has four, he has five returning offensive starters and only four on the defensive side. And you can see the rebuilding job that he had to do. Hilton Ed Christian has now called a timeout. 10.48 left in the second quarter. They lead 14 to 7, a Serve Pro timeout. Serve Pro of Beaufort County making fire and water damage like it never even happened. With WHHI Sports TV. The Eagle cheerleaders on the sidelines here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. The Cross Island Bowl, a Covert Air High School football bowl series. The Low Country's number one team for heating and air service, offering the highest level of customer satisfaction. That's Covert Air. Second down, second down and a short five for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Macarella decides to keep it this time. He's being chased. Noah Sulik grabs him and wrestles him down after a gain of about three. A great tackle by Noah Sulik, number three. But you know, coming into this season, as I mentioned, they only had five starters returning offensively, four defensively. They had a little bit of rebuilding job, and they started off the season with two losses, but they were growth opportunities. They played two ex excellent teams, Hammond up in, uh, which is in Columbia, and also Bible Baptist, and they've won six in a row since then, or seven in a row. They did get the first down, so a Walgreens first down for Hilton Head Christian Academy. The give is to the big guy, Reese Dolanik. He has six touchdowns, mostly in short yardage situations, 220 pound senior who had been playing in the offensive line and uh, linebacker. And they said, you know what, he does so much blocking for us. Let's put him in a position where he can catch, where he can run the football a little bit as well. 
All these high school teams are coming up with their thunder packages now where they put the big defensive lineman or their biggest linebacker in there. Robert Clark, we've already seen him in the backfield for prep. Now we see Dolanek in the backfield for Christian Academy. Second down about five. Oh, well, watch you hit Clark puts in here. Just mentioned him, 55. You're gonna notice they only have one down lineman and the rest are in read situations. Look at Clark come off a block and make a big hit inside. Good play by the, by the senior. Gain of about four by Maccarello. He has 65 yards in three carries. Of course, he got 56 of those. <laughs> one shot here late in the first quarter. You look at the defense for prep. They got one down lineman. This is called a diamond defense. Well, now they're going to two this time. Third down on a yard. The give is to Doe. Doe looks like he got enough for the first down. And again, it was Clark making the tackle. Oh, they fooled me. They go to a split six defense like on short yardage. They wanted to get an extra down lineman. Another Walgreens first down. Devontae Doe, 29 yards and seven carries. Quiet first half so far, but that could change in a big hurry with one carry. Doe has almost 1,400 yards this year. Has a four yard touchdown run already. We've got a timeout. Christian, wow, they've uh, taken, maybe that's their third timeout here of the first timeout. A Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H Auto Service and H&H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Yeah, it's a big mess. But don't worry, cleanup's already underway. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The disaster recovery team at 1 800 Serve Pro. Like it never even happened. First and 10 for Hilton Head Christian as we come back. Oh, trying the end around, it's D'Angelo Clark. Now he's cutting back toward the middle of the field, gets across midfield to the 45 of Hilton Head Pass. Flu shots are now available at every Walgreens store. Every day at Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. Nice job that time, 85 for prep, makes a great play, turns the ball back inside, and it presents a big one. Gain of six for D'Angelo Clark. Now Maccarello out of the shotgun. Oh, ball is put on the ground by Devontae Doe. Wrestle for it, still loose. I think Prep might have it. <laughs> a lot of pushing and shoving going on, and a lot of I guys think who think had, they know who has I it. I think Prep had it about three times there. <laughs> Prep had it three times. Christian Academy had it twice. Prep ends up with the football. Oh, it's a huge play. Huge play, gonna give some pretty good field position back to prep, and they got a chance to get back in the ba in the game. 22 made the hit for prep that time. That was Gavin Holbert come in and make the play. Falling on it, I'm not sure who came out of that pot with the football. First and 10 on their own 45 for Hilton Head Prep. A chance to get right back in the football game now. Lots of time left, second quarter. Down 14-7, Tyler Fox pitches it back to Teron Daly. Daly down the sideline. Oh. Daly, Teron Daly. Ran out of running room and is finally forced out of bounds. But yeah. not until he picks up a Walgreens first down. Now watch Daly here at the end of the play. Delivers a blow to number, 70, uh, number 75 at the end of the play. Or I'm sorry, on number Meccarello. 15, that's Meccarello. Gain of 15 yards for Daly. 12 carries for 84 in the game. First down at the 40. Fox juggles it. 
and Teron Daly has to go into the middle of the line to get a couple. They lost a little bit of the timing there with the bobble snap. Well, both teams did. Yeah. You see there's the fatigue factor starting to set in. These teams have played a really vicious first 17 minutes of the game. A lot of hitting, a lot High of energy. running. Yep. Yeah, really. And you can see that it's taken in effect with a couple of miscues here in the last couple of plays on both sides of the ball. Gain of three for Daly, second and seven. Fox with Gardaki wide to the right, gives it to Daly right up the middle into the secondary of Hilton Head Christian. And it's finally brought down by D'Angelo Clark. See, this, this is what I like about Daly. Watch him at the end of the play here. He gets going up north and south. He goes in there, doesn't expose his body, and delivers a blow at the end of the, end of the play. He protects himself by rather let himself take the blow. He delivers the blow and hangs on to the football. Great job by the senior Teron Daly. Tyler Fox back into the huddle after getting the play call from Coach Kevin Wall. Third down and one for Hilton Head Prep. Play Gar action pass territory. Gardaki wide to the right. The give is to the big guy, Clark, right up the middle. Or give it to your biggest guy for a first down, Bob. Why not, huh? <laughs> We've seen a lot of that this year, haven't we? A Walgreens first down for Robert Clark. He got it by the length of the football. So first and 10 now at the 35 yard line of Hilton Head Christian. As Fox gives it to Daly. Daly is met at the line of scrimmage quickly by Thomas Glovin. The 220 pound senior. That's two plays in a row. Glovin has taken him on up the middle and made nice tackles on that one play that went for the first down and now he makes for a, for a short gain of only one yard. Nice job by the senior, six feet, 220 pounds, number 52, Thomas Glovin. So second and nine and a half for Hilton Head Prep, down 14-7. Daly. Again, met at the line of scrimmage. Let's go of the football. It's loose. Meccarello comes out with it. And Christian Academy has it. Looked like Daly might have been down. But the officials say ball came loose no, before I think the he ball, hit the turf. I think the ball comes out on hit here, on contact. It comes out, it pops right out, right there. Boy, he was stung by D'Angelo yeah. Clark right there. You're right. Yeah, Clark Arello gets the ball. Well, he's a ball hawk, isn't he? <laughs> well, we Not just, playing quarterback yeah. and safety <laughs> both ways. Well, just like I said a couple minutes ago, Bob, you can see the fatigue factor setting in. They played at such a high pace. It really hasn't uh, settled down. A very high intensity on both sides of the line of scrimmage, res resulting in a couple of miscues by so, the star players. So now the Eagles have the football back. The give is to D'Angelo Clark, who made the big hit that caused the fumble. And the ball comes loose again. I, I love it. We're in a dogfight now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is great. John Larson making the tackle. Watch 81 close on him here. Wrestle him down after a gain of two. Oh, yeah. We're, this is a nice little backyard brawl here we're having in the, in the Cross Island Ball tonight. I know Mike Colbert's enjoying it. He is indeed. <laughs> well, I brought these. I expect the David Ortiz uh, sideline chat with both teams during this game. Oh! Trying to throw it over the middle and make a connection with Ryan Barrett. Yeah, Reese Irwin, we haven't called his name much tonight. He only goes, he only goes both ways too, but Reese Irwin makes a nice, nice play in there. It almost does. comes Tipping up with an interse yep. Yep. interception. Third and seven. Well, they have shown run and they have shown pass in this series. They split Devontae Doe out wide to the left. You see him in the slot. Maccarello with an empty backfield. Looking for somebody down the field. Now scrambling, a lot of guys in pursuit of him. Lobs it up and throws it out of bounds. Incomplete. Wow, you're going to see on the replay here, Robert Clark takes away the slant. That's what they were looking for, and that's the reason why Maccarello ends with the ball. Look at the top of the screen. See Clark 55 step right in. in right the, in the middle of your screen, yeah. the screen, number 18, he was stepping in there. 
and he cut off Alex Cooler, the wide receiver. And they do call grounding on the Eagles. I think, you know, typically when you get outside the tackle box, you can throw the ball out of bounds, but I don't think the ball went over the line of scrimmage, and that's before it was thrown out of bounds, and that's the reason why they call it intentional grounding. It didn't get up to the line of scrimmage. Now we've got the officials huddling up to make sure the ball is spotted correctly. That's Daniel Reese, the referee, number 10 with the white cap, making the call. Yeah, it's, there we go. we got to get the ball back another five and make it fourth down instead of first. Referees had 10 years in the, in the business, and he did the 2A state championship game back in 2010. Moise. So now on fourth down, Moise will punt. Noah Sulik is back in the middle, flanked by Teron Daly. Sulik gets the ball at his own 39 with the fair catch, and that's where Hilton Ed Prep will take over. They've stabilized this game after a couple of early touchdowns. It's 14-7 here early in the second quarter. Butler Chrysler Jeep Dodge, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay, helping sponsor the season and tonight's game. And Lava Fitness, reach your peak at Lava 24 Fitness. Visit us on Hilton Head Island or at lava24.com. H&H Auto, for seven years, H&H Auto has been voted number one for service, collision repair, and sales by the Island Packet and Hilton Head Monthly. Hilton Head Prep with the football, down seven. Midway through the second quarter. Tyler Fox over the middle. Cole Gardaki makes his second catch, but a gain of only about three. That's Higgs that came in there. Luke Higgs, number 12, makes a great play. Don't be surprised if you see Cole Gardaki wearing the black and gold of the West Point Cadets next year. How wonderful would that be, huh? I'm sure his mom and dad would like to see that. I talked to him after the game last week. I said, if, if they offer, go. <laughs> Of course, Clemson is also talking to him, and that's where Daddy went. There'll be a little pressure on him. Teron Daly trying to get loose around the left-hand side. And he has wrestled down. I'm not mistaken. You had a stint there at the West Point. I had a couple of seasons at West Point. It is an, an absolutely amazing place, academically and athletically. A lot of terrific history. You know, Bob, I, I got recruited by West Point. My junior year, yeah. my senior year, I went to the Army Navy game in Philadelphia. My junior year, Unbelievable, my senior year, yeah. Navy came and recruited me. I went to Army <laughs> Navy, for Navy that year. That's my memories of Army and Navy. Then I played against them in college. You go whichever one of them wanted to win <laughs> the most, right? <laughs> Fox being chased and throws it out there, almost intercepted by C.T. Davis. It was intended for Gardaki, and it'll be fourth down for our Hilton Head Prep. Yeah, Davis is a senior. Good film study on this. He read the route, looking at the game, game films, knew what they were going to do, and came over and broke up the pass. Nice job by C.T. Davis. Fourth and about seven. Dorsey Barker, the short Barker, punter, back to kick. is back to kick. He had trouble with the snap last time. Yeah. Tyler Fox in front of him. Barker and Gardaki both punt. Barker's kick. D'Angelo Clark brings it across the 30, up to near the 40-yard line. Before he goes down, and a late flag as well for a late hit on Hilton Head Prep. So Christian Academy is going to have great field position to begin this drive with 3.02 left before halftime. Oh, the mental, mental mistakes are starting to pile up here. This is due to fatigue. Good stiff arm there, but tackling him out of bounds was Hilton Head Prep's John Larson. Now the officials huddling over where the spot of the foul was, more than likely to mark off the yardage from there. Now they call it a face mask rather than a late hit. Well, it's a face mask. Yeah, I saw the face mask too, but I thought yeah. it was an inadvertent face mask. Do they at the college level, can they make a distinction between five 
A five yard penalty on that or 15? I think it's, they're all 15. And they're marking off 15. Wow. Yeah, they're adding 15 more. <laughs> wow. A huge penalty against Hilton Head Prep. The they face mask and the late hit. They almost walked it in for him. Oh. Well, well, Christian Academy with a huge opportunity now inside the 40 of Hilton Head Prep. Toss back to Devontae Doe. Doe spinning around and is finally brought down. And we've got another flag. Good job by Logan Mallett. I John think Larson they're gonna, again in on the end of that tackle. I think they're going to call roughing the quarterback, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's against Christian Academy. Yeah, for holding. Let's see where the, we can see the hold. Yeah, it happened back behind the play. Oh, good break for prep. <laughs> So the officials have been the stars of the last 45 seconds or so. The back jug, Mike Eastman, out of Buffalo, New York, 27 years doing high school football. He's the one that made the call. First and 25. Now Devontae Doe gets across the 40, down to nearly 35-yard line. And we've got another flag down. Something you mentioned a few minutes ago. Yeah, he hit to the head as Devontae Doe is knocked down at about the 37. Fatigue starting to set in on both these teams. Gain of about 18 by Devontae Doe before the penalty. Daly is the one they're flagging that number five with the head-to-head -head contact. <laughs> so 30 yards in penalties against Hilton Head Prep then 25 or 15 yards back the other way, and then another 15 back this way. First down, Hilton Head Christian. After we do all the math, the ball's at the 20-yard line. Doe, off tackle. Wrestled down by Hilton Head Preps, number 86, Trane Colquette. Yeah, Colquitt makes a great tackle on the outside there. He's just starting left defensive end. Doe held to 49 yards so far in the game. This time they give it to Clark, has the ball resting on his hip. Boy, he pulled it in in a hurry before that ball popped loose. Gain of about three. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Eagles third down, ball is resting. Third down and five. Thunder are down to a minute and a half left in the first half. They have it all at New River Auto Mall, over a thousand vehicles at 12 dealerships in one location. Third and five. Maccarello looking for somebody to throw it to. Goes into the corner. It's caught. Touchdown, Dolanik. <laughs> Almost an identical play to the first touchdown where they found D'Angelo Clark, Clark in the, in the, in the back. Zone. But you see, it's a play action face. There is nobody open until Maccarello lets loose of the football. Yeah. And look who's open then. Reese Dolanik beats Tyler Fox into the corner. Touchdown for the Eagles. Almost like a bootleg on that, Bob. Yeah. And we've got a flag down. False start. False start against the Eagles. Back at Penn State, we used to call that a waggle. All the motion go in one direction, and you throw back to the other side. Well, after all that waggling, Maccarello will hold. Moise will attempt the extra point. Good snap. Good spot. Good kick. And with a minute 18 left before halftime, the Hilton Head Christian Eagles have pulled out to a 21-7 lead. On WHHI Sports TV. 
Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Hey, I'm Alexis James. I'm here with the 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. That means there's absolutely no limits. The greatest off-road vehicle on the market. Holds its value. The best any other vehicle in America. Come see me, Alexis James. Right price, right here, right now. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. Back at the home of the Eagles, Hilton Head Christian Academy. On top 21 to seven on senior night, Halloween night here in the low country and before the uh, foot meets the ball we've got whistles and flags and possibly an offside against Hilton Head Christian well as we mentioned earlier six and two coming into tonight's game for Christian Academy losing their first two and on the road where they uh, when they lost to the two teams out of the region they won the last six in their specific region here. They're 3-0 and oh going into the playoffs. Something your good friend Joe Paterno taught you early on, though. They always remember what you do in November. <laughs> and November will be a big month at Hilton Head Christian Academy as they attempt to win a fifth state title in the last 11 years and a third consecutive title. Moise's kick deep. Tyler Fox watches it go into the end zone. And... Uh, Prep will take over at the 20 with 78 seconds left before halftime. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at South Beach Marina and get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. Shop Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head in Bluffton where you'll have a truly exceptional experience. It's time to drive a Toyota. Well, despite losing their head coach and replacing him with Ryan Mitch and losing some of their key players last year, such as Clay Oliver, Jamario Williams, as we mentioned, going to Wofford, Caleb Lewis, and J.D. Reichel and Tyler Chisholm, Christian Academy's just reloaded again with some new stars. The fake to Daly. Fox going long. He's got his man open. Cole Gardaki made the catch, stayed in bounds. First down, Dolphins. This is what he did last week, too, Bob, against St. Andrews. Little play action pass, and he's able to get man to man coverage. This time he's got Gardaki well five yards ahead of the defender. Let him a little bit too much to the outside, otherwise, Gardaki might still be running. Gardaki gains 32 for a Walgreens first down. Across midfield. Prep trying to march down and change momentum headed into halftime. Fox to Gardaki again over the middle. And Cole Gardaki close to another first down. Look at Fox look one way, plant and fire back to number 19. He's six foot four. He's a little easier to find than some of the other receivers. Second down and one after the gain of nine. Fox fumbles. Oh, no. And he falls on it. Fox was trying to go one way and forgot to take the ball with him, and it was almost falling on by Reese Dolanik. We've got a timeout called by Hilton Head Prep. That might be their final timeout. Let's take a quick timeout here. A Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro of Beaufort County helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota. From Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton.
Welcome back to the Cross Island Bowl, a covert air high school football bowl series. It is third down and nine for Hilton Head Prep. Watch up the top of your screen. Noah Sulek has not caught a pass, really even been targeted in this game. Fox looks one way, goes back the other way towards Sulek, and it is broken up. Good defensive play by Hilton Head Christians, Chris Edwards. Kind of had a feeling that Noah Sulek had been ignored just a little bit too long. Good call, Bob. <laughs> Blind squirrel. <laughs> Fourth down and nine for Hilton Head Prep. 27 and a half seconds left. You gotta be careful with the snap again, Bob. Oh, you gotta do something here. You gotta try something here. Yeah. Fox is the up back in the punt formation. But of course he always is. The punt. And it's partially blocked, and it is grabbed by Christian Academy C.T. Davis. And now, Hilton Head Christian Academy. And oh, by the way, no time ran off the clock. <laughs> You're right at the name start. <laughs> Tough to win on the road sometimes. First down. For Hilton Head Christian, Maccarello gets a chance for some last minute heroics here in the first half. Christian Academy up 21 7. Rolling to the right, under some pressure, deals it out, almost has it picked off, but then caught by Devante Doe. He's to the 30, he's down to the 27 yard line. A gain of almost 20, and a Walgreens first down. Well, you can see the niftiness of Maccarello. He's a basketball player, too, and he shows his moves there. Great job to avoid the rush and then get his feet underneath him and fires a strike to the outside. A gain of 20 for Doe. So now 16 and change left before halftime. Yep, we got a little movement on the offensive line for the Eagles. Pit ball, ball start. Right tackle moving a little early. Back him up, five yards, still first down. 16 seconds left before halftime. You don't run that pass play back against the grain again, do you? Oh, well, Pretend to go right and throw it back left, like they've done for their they've two touchdowns. You've got that formation right here. You'll see yep. at the bottom of your screen, you got D'Angelo Clark. Trips to the right, yeah, twin set it, to the left. Yeah, start it left and go back right. Looking right, going right, all the way down the field, intercepted by Hilton Head Preps, Zenon Parker. And Parker yeah, might have come back across the goal line. He may want to have yeah. to run this out. He's certainly going to finish off the half. Can he finish it off going forward? Yes. <laughs> we have reached halftime here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. The Eagles leading the Dolphins by a score of 21-7. There is a flag down, though, so this might not be the last play of the half. It's a smart play for him to get out of the end zone. He might have stepped in there. But, you know, coming into tonight's game, Zenon Parker already had five interceptions. Okay, the penalty is declined. We are at halftime. 21-7, Hilton Head Christian Academy. Mike Covert is with Coach Ryan Mitch. Mitch of Hilton Head Christian. Coach, tell you what, momentum, big swing there at the very end. Y'all, the whole crowd was involved. It was nuts here through the interception. You go into the halftime, change anything? Do you pull anything, out, tricks out of the bag? Because I know your team wants to take home that trophy for the second time this year. No, we just need to play better. That's the worst we played in eight weeks. You know, we just had, what was it, 10 penalties probably and, and a turnover. So we just need to play the game we play and play better. There you go. Play and play better. We're going to turn it over to Bob and Chuck for the halftime report. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air. You know, it's duck hunting season, and I don't mean the kind that flies. If you don't keep your filter clean every month, and it ends up looking like this, 
you're definitely going to need to call Covert Air today at 706-5090 and have us come out for a free second opinion, an energy savings agreement, or maybe even clean your ductwork. That's Covert Air, 706-5090. Welcome back to Hilton Head Christian Academy. It is halftime. The Eagles on top of Hilton Head Prep by a count of 21-7. Bob Stevens along with Chuck Zapek. Chuck, an exciting first half. A first quarter where the two teams almost outran themselves, didn't they? They really, really ran themselves out of gas. Well, they did too. We knew coming into tonight's game that Prep was going to try to run the ball using Tron Daly. But now they got a, they're facing Christian Academy, and the goal was then was try to stop that offense. But that's like a three-headed monster they got with Macarello and Delangelo Clark, Reese Stolnick, and they just got so much firepower. And then Devontae Doe, Double D. I mean, there's four players there that made plays all season long, and certainly tonight it paid off for them also. Christian Academy started the season throwing the football. Didn't have a lot of success at it, so they went ahead and went back to run the ball. They've run the ball very successfully all year, but two of their three touchdowns have been on the pass tonight. Well, they would play action passes, yeah. and they were f f fairly similar uh, plays run just different ways. And um, so, they, you know, it was really an element of surprise that they kind of got them going one way, and the quarterback, Macarello, was able to go back and look and throw the waggle pass back for the touchdown. D'Angelo Clark caught one of them coming out of the backfield. Reese Dolanick caught one coming out of the backfield as well. What does Prep need to do in the second half to get back in this thing? Well, what they did was they got them they got back in the game was run the football once they got their hands on it. The problem is they need more stops and they can't turn it over. And as we saw, there was a stretch there in the second quarter where both teams fumbled the football, bad snaps, a couple bad penalties. And that was really due to the first 20 minutes it was just no, just high intensity football. Prep's best defense in the second half, maybe their offense keeping Christian Academy off the field? Well, I think so. Once they get the ball, they can't be forced into any three and outs. And they got to be able to maintain possession and score early. 14 to 21 to 7, Christian Academy leading it. Christian Academy looking like a team that's got a lot of momentum. Six straight wins, looking like a team that's getting ready for the playoffs. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to have home field advantage going into the playoffs already. Now what they want to do is get their momentum, as you just mentioned, and they seem to be able to maintain it right now. The last half of football for seniors at Hilton Head Prep. Tell me about your last half of football as a senior at Penn State. It, it'll mean a lot to him, won't it? Oh, it will too. And, and you know, these are memories you'll keep forever. And you know, playing a, a high rivalry game like uh, playing against your, your cross time rival in, in Hilton Head Prep, those, both teams are going to remember this. Something tells me Kevin Wald is telling his seniors that uh, right now in the halftime locker room is this is your last half. Uh, don't leave anything out there that you wish you would have gone and uh, done the next day. We've got much more coming up at halftime. We're at Hilton Head Christian Academy on Senior Night, the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series on WHHI Sports. Now, let's go to the New River Auto Mall Drive of the Week. Hi, I'm Eric Yerkeson with Hilton Head Volkswagen down at the New River Auto Mall, and we're standing here with the new 2014 Jetta S. The engine that comes with it is a two-liter four-cylinder engine. 23 in town, 29 on the highway. It does have side impact airbags and it does have canopy airbags for both rows. Gives you ample trunk space as well as both seats can be folded flat. And you can 
right here in the trunk is where you would release it. It comes with cloth seats, six-speed automatic transmission, and it does have a manual mode, so you can shift gears manually without a clutch. It does come with an AM FM stereo with a CD player, power windows, door locks, and mirrors. As you can see, the mirrors are also are heated, and this vehicle is attractively priced at $18,910. I hope you enjoyed the 2014 Jetta overview. My name is Eric Yerkeson with Hilton Head Volkswagen here at the New River Auto Mall, and we look forward to you coming down and visiting. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Hey everybody, welcome back to halftime of the Hilton Head Christian, uh, Hilton Head Prep Dolphin game Great on job. Thursday night. We've got Larry Green, upper school principal of Hilton Head Christian. Got Mike Covert, Covert here has been with us all night long. And Absolutely. hey, no faces, you know, no imitations. I mean, no. We got the, we got, we got administration here with That's us. That's right. Tonight. I've got to behave. I did leave the David Ortiz big poppy gloves there you go. on. There you go. But. Uh, Hey, Larry, great first half, 21-7. More than anything, talk about the atmosphere out here tonight. What makes Hilton Head Christian such a special place? I think what makes it great is just all the people that show up here. We have a lot of students here. It's Halloween night. We have some of our younger students trigger-treating. We did some things in the parking lot to have some candy out for the little kids. We have our high school students and middle school students dressed up. And it's just been a lot of fun and just the football game going really well. It just tops, tops it all off. So it's been a great night. And I tell you what, the facility we have is a great facility. Uh, we always enjoy being here under the lights, and even though it's a Thursday night, we still have a great crowd here, and uh, we're just very appreciative for what we have here. Well, absolutely. Uh, you know, Mike, I was talking to him earlier. He's been here 15 years. 15 years? 15 years. Wow, you are a, late, a native now. <laughs> but, you know, let's talk about the grounds, because this is a really awesome place you have here. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can see that would, uh, you know, help this, uh, I think we need a little bit of covert air swag around here. So, you know, let's let's get together, let's talk, and, um, you know, let, let's do something. Oh, he, well, he happens Thomas to have a card. Today, okay? He has a card. So Folks, you can't make this stuff up. We are looking this. for good prices for some air handlers and some uh, condensers right now. So there, there you, you go. go you can't make this okay. stuff up. Thanks so, a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right, Thanks for being here. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> That's okay. phenomenal. We've got the headmaster. The headmaster. Head Christian. Hey guys. Dr. Weshi, like... is that right? Yes, sir. Dr. Weshi, Mike Covert, Covert it's a pleasure. Air. And uh, Dr. Weshi is in his first year as headmaster. Yes, sir. Here at Hilton Head Christian. Came down from Atlanta last year. And uh, tell us a little bit about your really quick transition and what some of the priorities are as you're now the new headmaster here. Well, one of the things that we're really proud of is our academic programming here. We offer a full opportunity for AP classes, and we do that all within a Christian atmosphere for our kids. And so really promoting that Christian worldview is paramount for us, and we're excited about what we're doing here. Well, and he's got to be excited about what's going on on the football field, doesn't he, Mike? Oh, absolutely. This, this is a great, uh, you know, here on Hilton Head, I mean, this is the, the game. This okay. is the one. Uh, when you get to this uh, the skisa level, but I tell you, I want to ask you, what kind of doctor are you? What, what PhD or, or what do you have? I have a PhD in curriculum and instruction. Ah, okay. So you took all the classes that I could never master. <laughs> I feel a lot better now. <laughs> there you go. As I said, it's always good having Mike, you know, on on set here with the adding a little humor in, and he hadn't brought up Big Poppy yet, so we're gonna hold but off on we that. Do but have... yeah, we, do. we do have. Yeah, we do. We do. Dr. Weshi, you've Thanks. got uh, what one or two more games after tonight? Yeah, we have a couple left, and then hopefully uh, quite a few more as we go on to the playoffs. Well, I'll tell you Thanks. what, folks, if you haven't been out here, great environment, great atmosphere. Thanks for And we're looking here. forward to a good second half. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, honey, it's me. Can you start the washing machine? Technology. It's not really my strong suit, but I get by. Figured out how to program my thermostat, and that saves me 280 bucks a year. Just by pushing a few buttons. Not bad, huh? What can you do? Find out at TogetherWeSave.com.
Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Hilton Head Christian High School. We're at halftime. The uh, Christian Academy uh, Eagles are up 21 to seven on top of the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins. We are here with uh, Dana Miller, the uh, Millen, I'm sorry, with uh, the Booster Club. Glad to have you with us. A couple of questions. Just it's a great atmosphere tonight. We've got some competitive cheerleading going on behind us. What kind of activities does the Booster Club have? Uh, I know you got to be wanting to raise some money for, for extra things and stuff that the athletes need. What's on your schedule for the fall and the winter here uh, at uh, Christian Academy? Well, thank you, Mike. What we do is uh, our mission is to enhance the sports program here. And there's a lot of things around here on the field and in the press box that you see around the school that we have uh, raised money over the years and really enhanced uh, the, the appearance of the school and the program. Some of the events we do, we... We uh, obviously run the concession stands for basketball and football and have a lot of great parents, have a lot of fun. We also had a, uh, a recent event called uh, Eagle Fest. We kicked off the school year and that was a lot of fun, kind of a carnal atmosphere. And we're gonna do another one similar to that in the spring around March. So just uh, just fun things to, to enhance the program. And everything is done in a Christian atmosphere and that's awesome. Absolutely. All right, thanks. Uh, Thanks for being. Want to add anything to that? I think he said it all. There you Good go. Stuff, Dana. Good. Thank you for joining us. Uh, someone step this way, and uh, we are going to bring in another gentleman, Kenny Conroy, the athletic director. Good to see you, Kenny. Good to see you. And, uh, How are you, Mike Covert? Uh, Kenny, obviously, this is the Super Bowl of the year on the island between you guys and Hilton Head Prep. But, you know, it's been a while since I've been to this game, a couple of years, and the atmosphere speaks for itself. It's really a fantastic venue to come to. It's a, it's a great community atmosphere. You know, everybody's friends on each side, parents as well as players, and you throw away wins and losses when you play this game, and, uh, and it's all played out on the field with the boys. Well, Mike, you know, one thing you and I were watching in the first half you know, the tackling's pretty good, the fundamentals are solid. These kids are laying it on the line out there tonight, and there are some very talented football players out there. There is a lot of talented football players out there. I'm very impressed, uh, Coach, with, uh, you know, everything that I've seen so far. Um, you know, a lot of times we hear different places, they talk about skis of football and mm -hmm. maybe not being all that, and it's, you know, a lay down. This ain't no lay down. No. Matter of fact, uh, the question that I have for I didn't mean to interrupt no. you, uh, is twofold. What do you think about that? And then uh, I know in this conference, Bible Baptist, uh, you know, from across or St. Andrews, from across the river, being in Georgia. How, how does all that work when we're in Carolina? Well, well, you know, f first of all, skis of football is, is real football, and uh, and at least at Hilton Head Christian Academy, we've proven that in the last couple of years with uh, with the, with the Weaver boy going to the Citadel and the Williams boy going to Wofford. Um, we've had some 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 good young men make some good uh, strides at the next level and got some on this team that are going to make it to the next well, level. Well, hey, we got to run for kickoff, but thanks for joining yeah. us. Thanks yeah. for having yeah. us out here. Yeah. What a great facility, yeah. great night, great game. And, folks, we'll be right back with the second half kickoff. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in. Cookies come out. One more time. Hand in. Cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. Have you been in the zone? Sport Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sport Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more. Sport Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837-ZONE. Get it in the zone. Sport Zone. 
Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. Good evening. I'm John Byrne with WHHI TV and the Byrne Acquisition Group, and I want to take just a minute to thank each and every one of you for tuning in every week to the Covert Air High School Bowl Series. You know, this 2013 season has been our best to date. The games have been incredibly competitive, uh, and, and we think the product looks pretty good on air as well. We think our team's really done a fantastic job with graphics and, uh, and our announcers and our entire team that goes out each and every Friday night. But you know, the key thing here is we couldn't do any of this without our great, great sponsors. And we want to take just a minute to thank them. Specifically, Mike and his entire team out at Covert Air, you know, coming on board, sponsoring the Bowl Series for the first time, trophies at the end of the game. They've been an integral part of elevating the product up to its highest level that we've been able to attain yet. We want to thank them. And we encourage you, when you have any air conditioning or heating needs, Give them a call. They're good folks. They're going to do a great job for you. We also want to thank Walgreens. They've been with us for several years now. You know, it's another Walgreens first down. Uh, again, if you have any uh, prescription needs, medicine needs, uh, give Walgreens a try. They're a great chain and great group of folks down here in the low country. New River Auto Mall does the drive of the week, uh, involved uh, at halftime as well. They've been a great, great sponsor for us. And when you're looking for a new car, uh, New River Auto Mall has got what you need. It's not one dealer, it's multiple dealers with thousands and thousands of automobiles for you to take a look at online or on their uh, big, big lot out there uh, past Bluffton. Uh, last but not least, we want to thank Salty Dog for the instant replay. They've been with us now for, for multiple years and uh, what a great, great brand Salty Dog is. If you're in the area, please go down to the south end and, and, and check out what makes them so special. We've also got uh, a litany of other sponsors that I don't have time to go through, but every sponsor you see involved in high school football, we encourage you to give them a chance to earn your business. We think they're great folks. We've been working with them for a while, and we think that you'll think the same thing once you, once you start to work with them. So thanks again to all the sponsors for allowing us to bring you what we think is the best high school football product, definitely in the, uh, in the low country, maybe in the country. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you each and every week. Thank you very much. Dolphins. Dolphins will get the ball, though, to start the second half. Bob Stevens along with Chuck Zapek. J.R. Moise kicks it deep. Noah Sulik takes the ball at his own five. Moving up the field on the left-hand side. Oh, taking it easy and then turning on the Jets, and he makes it across midfield. First down for Hilton Head Prep. They're going to spot it right at midfield. Well, no, Sulek's been quiet as a receiver, but now he makes some noise as a return man on this kickoff. Does quite a job and just does it with sheer speed. And yet it looked like he was just gliding. It wasn't even full speed until toward the end of the run, picking his holes. First down at midfield for Hilton Head Prep. Down by two touchdowns, the final half of football for the seniors. Tyler Fox, the quarterback, though, just a sophomore. He'll be back for a couple more years. Tyrone Daly fumbles the football, and it looks like Christian Academy is going to get it on the first play of the second half. Coming up with the football, D'Angelo Clark. Well, you talk about being a 48-minute game, wow. and that's exactly what it is. Daly's lucky he didn't get hurt 
on that, taking a, sh a shot below the, below the knees. Got hit in the face, or the head, the uh, face mask with the pitch, and never really had control. So Christian Academy with a two touchdown lead and the football in prep territory to begin the second half. The give is to D'Angelo Clark. Boy, he has been a good kind of counterweight to the great speed of Devontae Doe. Loss of two, though, there by Clark. Clark meets Clark. Robert Clark comes up from his middle linebacker position, number 55, the senior. Makes a great stop for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. He's played awfully well in his final game at Hilton Head Prep. Second down and 12. Brad Meccarello, the quarterback, under pressure. Gets away from that pressure and actually gets a gain out of the play. Nice heady play by Brad Meccarello. Well, watch on the replay, number 59, Sean Topper, run him down. Topper comes in in tonight's game leading in sacks for his team with five of them. He misses one here, but well, watch him stay with the ball in 15 on the field. And guess who makes the tackle at the end of the play? 59. Circles all the way back. Nice job by Sean Topper, the right defensive end. Third down and about seven for Christian Academy. See the three wide receivers to the bottom of your screen. Devontae Doe's going to get it, though. Bounces it out right, and it looks like he's going to get first down yardage. It'll be a Walgreens first down for Hilton Head Prep on Devontae Doe's run of about seven yards. Now this time Doe looks like a jackrabbit running around on the outside as he starts into the line of scrimmage and watch him kind of lower the little hip, puts a dip into it, gets to the outside, a little glide to his stride, and he's on his way to a Walgreens first down. Just over 10 minutes left in the third quarter. See Clark in the slot. Maccarello with Doe in the backfield with him. The give is to Doe off the left or right side, off the right guard. Picks up about eight. Held to 49 yards in the first half. Grace Irwin's going to make the tackle, but not until Doe makes eight. That offensive line is starting to wear him down up front for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Good job being done up, up front. Mike Dillon, 59, Cameron Wilder, number 65, on the left side. Second and two, Doe dances out, and he does not get the first down. Does he still have the football? There are penalty markers down as well. The initial call is holding against the Eagles. Devontae Doe, very slow to get up. Let's see why. Yep, knee kind of gave out on him, his right knee. There's the ball underneath him there. He was down. And Doe hobbling off the field for Hilton Head Christian. That would be a huge loss for the Eagles. Generally when you see them walking off under their own power, they'll be back. Yeah, he's walking very gingerly though. The penalty brings it back to the 39 yard line. Yeah, they're gonna bring it back to the 40. That would be 10 yards. There we go. It'll be second down now and a little more than 11. Let's see what the quarterback Macarello does this time. He's got an opportunity to throw the ball. Empty the backfield. Two receivers to the bottom of your screen. Three to the right side of the formation. And Macarello's going to run it. He's got some uh, yardage on the left-hand side, but not a lot before he is run out of bounds by Hilton Head Preps, Sean O'Connor, and by Tyler Fox. Quarterback draw. And he gets tackled by the opposing quarterback, the sophomore, number 25, Tyler Fox, comes up from his safety position, makes a nice play. Gain of about six. So they now have about six to go. 77 yards for Macarello in five carries. But he had a 55-yard touchdown or run that set up 
or Christian Academy's first touchdown. Fakes it to Clark, keeps it himself. He's not going anywhere. Hilton Head Prep has held. It'll bring up a fourth down. We'll see if Christian Academy decides to go for it or if they try to pin Prep deep in their own territory. Oh, what a play by number 81 this time by Prep. Makes a great play. Plays his responsibility and is able to hang in there and wrap him up short of the first down. John Larson, who plays both ways, plays tight end and wide receiver on offense and plays defensive end on defense, as you see the Avante Doe. Fourth down and about five, and we have a timeout called on the field by Hilton Head Prep. We'll take a timeout, a Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H Auto Service and H&H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. What we have here, brand new 2013 Dodge Charger, 25 miles MPG, V8 with fuel saving technology, paddle shifters, best in class, 8.4 touchscreen radio, including backup camera, navigation, and Bluetooth. Come ask for Charles Manigo, I'll save you $2,000 off this vehicle. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local. By American. Fourth down and about five. Hilton Head Christian lining up to go for it. Macarello with an empty backfield. They lead 21 7. Macarello's got time. He's got lots of time. Finds a receiver open, but then throws it a double coverage. It's knocked around and it's finally intercepted. Hilton Head Preps James Leonard, the 170 pound senior, gets the interception. And Hilton Head Prep stops Christian Academy, although the Dolphins will have to take over deep in their own territory. And he takes it away from the guy that has six interceptions this year. But he makes a nice job in coverage here. And the ball gets up. Yeah, Zenon Parker, Zenon number Parker, seven, number already seven, has tips an interception in this game and seven on the season. Great job by Zenon Parker. Even better one. For Leonard to hang on to it. Yavante Doe testing that right knee. Looks like he may be able to come back. Teron Daly busting it loose. He's got running room down the sideline for Hilton Head Prep. Finally knocked out of bounds after a huge game. I go back to that timeout that Kevin Wall talked to head coach of Hilton Head Prep. He knew his team had was faced with a big fourth and five. They got to stop, and now they give the ball to their playmaker, number five, Teron Daly, picks up a block on the corner, and you can see just the speed that Daly has. He nearly run, runs everybody. A gain of 49 yards by Teron Daly on his 19th carry of the game. And it is first down and 10 to give to big Robert Clark. Hey, how about that? Hang on to it. <laughs> the big senior hanging on, spinning, diving forward. Clark's a tough guy. Yep. We've seen him play for three years here. Look at the hit he takes down at the knees, keeps his hand, keeps his balance, spins up. What an effort by the senior Robert Clark. Great job. 5'10, 205 pounds. Leaving it all on the field tonight, Bob. Gets about six. We may see the timeouts called in the second half, much like we saw uh, called by Kevin Wald, much like we saw Bluffton and Hilton Head when they were in their great rivalry game. They called the timeouts more than anything just to give their players a little rest. Teron Daly. Trying to get inside the 25. He's held down at the 26 yard line. Andrew Clark makes a nice tackle back in the backfield. They come, Clark comes up from his left inside linebacker position, and he's the one that gets a shot at him. They come over the double inside blitz, two linebackers, and that's the reason why they're able to hold him short of the first down by three yards. 144 yards unofficially for Teron Daly. Third and a long three. Hilton had prep, though, in four-down territory. Six minutes left in the third. Down 
final game of their season, the five and four Dolphins. And we've got whistles and a delay of game call against Hilton Head Prep. Wow, that's not good. <laughs> It'll make it third down now and about eight instead of three. And you know what? It might not change the play call. We'll see. Gardaki. You mean the they're going to give it to Daly? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Spencer wide left. Watch Gardaki and uh, the other slot man. He tries to throw it over the top. Yep, was looking for uh, 81 there. That's John Larson. That's who I was watching for and it comes up empty so it will be fourth down about eight again i think they're in four down territory i think they go for it yeah they will you don't want to leave anything on the table here into double coverage meccarello on the play and also nick perosi well here it is bob fourth and eight fourth and eight they've got their three best receivers down to the bottom of the screen sulek gardaki and Larson cranks it, throws it deep. It is caught and touchdown, Noah Sulek. Look at the Dolphin crowd on the far sideline as Noah Sulek made the catch and gets into the end zone. He's a little shaken up on the play. Watch this throw from Tyler Fox. Just like he did last week against St. Andrews, he gets the ball out there, it's almost a similar play in a similar situation. Newark makes a great catch. However, he takes a hit going into the end zone and has a leg injury of some sort. He may have cramped up as much as, pos as, much as anything, cramped up and I've gotten a wind knocked out of him a little bit as well. Get that, get, get that apple cider vinegar out here. <laughs> You know it. That makes yeah. it 21 Mike Coburn, he's, he's been in a few hot attics in his lifetime. He knows what, what it takes to keep, keep those cramps say away. I agreed with it. I said that was the Pennsylvania way of doing it. Pennsylvania way of doing it, huh? Oh, we've got a timeout on the field for the injured player. 21 <laughs> 13. Do you want to know do you want to know what the West Virginia way of doing it? <laughs> What's that? Go ahead, Mike. Tell us. Well, it's a mixture of water, corn, and uh, and sugar. Yes. <laughs> heated to a particular temperature. <laughs> and properly aged and, and filtered. Properly yes. Aged. <laughs> oh man. All right. All right. Got that mountaineer influence down hey, here. Yeah. All right. Noah Sulik is walking it off back behind the goalpost here at Hilton Head Christian. He'll be back. He'll be back. On to kick the extra point, Waddy Brooks. Now it's 21-13 as Hilton Head Prep. A gutty performance to get into the end zone. And then Brooks tacks on the extra point. 5.46 left in the third quarter. It's 21-13 in favor of Hilton Head Christian Academy. On WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota from Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. Reach your peak at Lava 24 Fitness. Visit us on Hilton Head Island or at lava24.com. Hilton Head Prep has made a ball game of it now, 21-14. Still more than five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. We're here at the Eagle's Nest. The final game of the season for Hilton Head Prep. Christian Academy will play in the playoffs next week. Kick a low line drive. Taken by D'Angelo Clark. He's at the 30, 35, waiting for some blockers. Could be a face mask if they throw the flag, gets up to the 40. On the return, D'Angelo Clark. Thought we might see a flag on the flag. Yeah, there's one. 
Clark, look at that, waving Dolanik up. Go hit somebody for me, will you? <laughs> well, he's a good guy to choose, too. Yeah. That's a smart play by oh, Absolutely. Clark. Get Dolanik. the big guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the big guy in front six, of you. Two, two, He'll Let him take him on those uh, oncoming tackles. The face mask call will put the ball at the 45. Incidental face mask. It'll be first and 10 for Christian Academy. Up by a touchdown. Now they go back to their diamond formation. They have run so often this season. Maccarello giving it to Devontae Doe. He is back in the game. And he makes it up to midfield. Doe 5'7", 185 pounds. Very strong inside, a lot of speed outside. Good run by the senior. Unofficially 12 carries for 69 yards. He has a touchdown. His 19th rushing touchdown of the season. Doe now gets it on the pitch back and is wrestled out of bounds by Hilton Head Prep's Gavin Hurlbut, a sophomore. We've got another flag on the play. Coach Ryan Mitch, whose little brother Connor is a freshman quarterback at South Carolina, goes up to watch him play on Saturdays after the usual Friday night games. This time a Thursday night game. Ooh, big hit after the out of bounds, after he got out of bounds. Helmet to helmet from Fox. But the penalty is against Hilton Head Christian. Well, Ryan Mitch stepping into a tough situation replacing Tommy Lewis, who was the first and only coach before at Hilton Head Christian, had a record of 73 wins and 19 losses and four state championships. That's, that's a tough act to follow. I asked Coach Mitch, why would you want to come into that? And he said, I loved high expectations. And they are certainly here at Christian Academy. Diavante Doe brings it back across midfield on second and 11. Uh, I've got to give some credit to Christian Academy here to the guy that started it all, and that's the great Jim Carlin, a resident of Hilton Head Island. Jim, former head coach in West Virginia. I played against him. <laughs> Texas Tech, South Carolina. He started the program here at Christian Academy about 11 years ago. Doe trying to push for first down yardage. Looks like he's got it across the 45-yard line. A first down for the Eagles. A Walgreens first down for Diavante Doe. Good job by the offensive line on the right-hand side there. Yeah, giving him just enough room. Stay between the tackles. Keep that clock moving. 21-14, Christian Academy on top. Pitch back to Doe again, and he is wrestled down by Hilton Head Preps for 59. Sean Topper making the play. Topper's been all over the field. He's played a great game. For Hilton Head Prep. Yeah. You know, coming into tonight's game, he leads the Dolphins with five quarterback sacks. Six feet, 190 pounds, he's a senior. Second and seven. Maccarello being chased, and they're gonna get him this time. They finally get him the sack there by number 81, John Larson. Yeah, John Larson's been making one play after another here defensively, he sees, he's able to beat the beat defensive, the left tackle, off, yeah. offensive tackles rush. Macarello made a little bit of a mistake there. He kind of, you know, what you don't want to do is pop to the outside. What you want to do is step up into the pocket. Otherwise, you get exactly what he got, which is a big loss for a game. Uh, uh, a big loss. Third down and 20 for Hilton Head Christian. Empty backfield. Trips to the top of the screen. Two wide receivers to the bottom. Macarello again keeps it. He did this earlier out of the empty backfield. Gets it across the 40 to about the 39-yard line. See if that's close enough for a first down. I think they're going to leave him fourth down at about four. 16-yard gain here in yep. a quarterback draw. He did the same thing last time. He's able to elude number 22 as a tackler, and then he runs through two of them. Wow, what an effort by Macarillo. And Ryan Mitch has called a timeout for Hilton Head Christian Academy, probably again to get his players a little breather. You see the scoreboard, 232 left in the third. Christian Academy up 21-14. WHHI Sports TV. 
Hey folks, Mike Covert here with another tip for fall from Covert Air. Do you smell that? That's right, no smell. Could have been carbon monoxide poisoning. Here at Covert Air, all new maintenance agreement customers receive a free carbon monoxide detector. $75 value, yours free with a new energy savings agreement. So this fall, get your air conditioning and heating tuned up and a $75 value carbon monoxide detector free from Covert Air. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. Definitely Duncan. It's always Duncan. Nothing but Duncan. It tastes awesome. It's my absolute favorite. I run on Duncan. America runs on Duncan coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Fourth down and about three and a half for Hilton Head Christian, they're gonna go for it. Diavante Doe pops it outside. He's got first down yardage, flag down behind him though. And that would likely mean holding against Christian Academy, we'll see. As another Hilton Head Christian player, his legs stretched out, those cramps being worked on, holding against the Eagles. And call that on Dolanek. Yep. Number 35. You know, this, the technique that they use in blocking today leads to a lot of holes. You see, you get what you did, they try to do, the offensive linemen try to get their hands on the inside of the shoulder pads and hold. And when, and when a running back doesn't run in the exact place where you think he's going to run and the defender starts pulling away from you, that's where the hands get caught. And the officials throw the flags. J.R. Moise now is on the field to punt for Christian Academy. They lead by seven, but Prep with a chance to get the ball back. A chance to knock this game back up again. It was tied at seven early in the second quarter. It had been all Christian Academy throughout the rest of the second. And now the Eagles have called another Serve Pro timeout. Serve Pro of Beaufort County helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. Christian Academy up by seven. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Everything is ruined. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. Flu shots are now available at every Walgreens store. Every day at Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. Hilton Ed Christian in punt formation. Deavante Doe trying to catch his breath over on the Christian Academy sidelines. As we play late in the third quarter of a game that has had a lot of emotion, a lot of passion. 21-14, the Eagles lead the Dolphins. Good snap, the left-footed kicker sends it very high into the air, over near the sideline, gets a good bounce, then has it roll out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. That's where Hilton Head Prep will take over. First and 10, with just under two minutes left in the third quarter. Well, what do you think, Bob? Give the ball to Daly again? I'm asking you. You're the analyst. <laughs> I think you got to give you got to give him a chance. They've done a great job with that offensive line tonight. You've got Brandon Mitchell, John Horner, Cole Fredericks, Logan Mallett going both ways. Sean Topper, we already talked about. They're all on the offensive line. You got your John Larson blocking for you, 81. I guess see what is. they can do. My guess is they might mix it up a little bit. It begins with Daly up the middle. Daly pops out. And he's got some running room. Tyrone Daly gets across midfield. How about that? Wow. Looks like he was down about three different times, and it's a Walgreens first down, a gain of over 30. Mike Cover appreciate this. He runs into the line, and it looks like a can of worms. And all of a sudden, he squirms out of it. He pops in, gets a great block by 55. That's Robert Clark. And he's able to scoot down the sideline. What an effort. 
by the whole team of Hilton Head Prep offensive line that time. A gain on the play of 33 yards. He now has 177 yards unofficially in 21 carries. First and 10, Prep. They give it to Robert Clark. And he breaks it loose into the secondary, down the field. This guy couldn't play last week because of a sore knee, and look what he's doing defensively and now offensively. <laughs> Great job. N nice block. The trap block by Logan Mallett springs him loose. And look at Clark use his strong arm, straight arm, and able to rumble and tumble his way down there. Great a gain effort. of 17 and a first down. He's got the prep fans there excited. Minute 37 left in the third quarter. They're down at the Christian Academy 30, and we've got whistles. Could be a timeout being called by Hilton Head Prep. You got to keep the momentum going and yet temper it some. Get your guys a little breather. Another Serve Pro timeout, Serve Pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Ram 1500, Motor Trend Truck of the Year, VA Hemi, 22 miles per gallon. We're American-made products here. Bad credit, no credit, everybody drives. Come see me, Alexis James, because I'll get you a great deal. $10,000 off, right deal, right here, right now. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. That's it. We welcome you back to the Eagle's Nest. Hilton Head Christian trying to hang on, leading 21-14 over Hilton Head Prep. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe on South Beach Marina and get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. Reach your peak at Lava 24 Fitness. Visit us on Hilton Head Island or at lava24.com. First and 10. Hilton Head Prep. Everybody's caught their breath. The give is to Teron Daly, 20, 10, five yard line. Gain of 25 and over 200 yards now for Teron Daly. Teron Daly already with 25 touchdowns on the year. One in receiving, and Lord, no, he's got three others on interception returns and fumble returns, and he just shows incredible strength and balance and a real eye for the goal line. What an effort. First down, the power formation now. Fake to Clark to give to the touchdown maker, Teron Daly. He gets in from five yards out. Hilton head prep has now scored the last 13 points of the game and have made it a one-point game at 21-20. And between the tackles, that's where they're doing it. That's their pay dirt. Look inside, he gets a good block and a nice push. The block by number 50, John Horner, the push is from Clark, number 55, and that's how he found his way into the end zone. Waddy Brooks' kick is up and good. We've got 13 minutes and five seconds left in this one. And Hilton Head Prep has knotted it up at 21 on WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota from Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. Yeah, it's a big mess, but don't worry. Cleanup's already underway. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The disaster recovery team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. We have had some terrific games in the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series this year. And we are in the middle of another one right now. 21 all. Minute left in the third quarter. The momentum belongs to Prep, but Christian Academy is going to get the football. The kick, deep, taken by 
Diavante Doe. Got it out past the 40. The one time they let him run back a kick earlier in the game, he gets it out to near the 40-yard line this time as well. You know, you just got to look at the top players. Four prep got him back in the last two drives and scored those two touchdowns from halftime. Tron Daly, Nola Sulik, and Logan Mallett blocking up front. What an effort by these guys. Sulik's going to be back. He's yep. only a junior. He's only a junior. Quarterback Tyler Fox, just a sophomore. And the seniors playing their hearts out in their final game. Diavante Doe wrapped up in the backfield. Good defensive play for Hilton Head Prep by Keelan Hanna, a junior who had a high ankle sprain a couple of weeks ago, did not play last week and was doubtful for this week. But he makes the play in the backfield. Doe barely gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe loses a half yard. No doubt about that tackle. Great job by the junior, Ke Keelan Hanna. Second and about 11. Maccarello running around the left side, finding some room up the middle, gets it up to midfield. That'll be enough for a first down, a Walgreens first down. With 15 seconds left of the third quarter. Well, they took out Baker, number 55, out of the middle. You can see what happens when he's not there. They gave him a rest after that last drive. Now he's back in the game. Coach said that's enough. <laughs> and 55's back in there at middle linebacker. Teron Daly made the tackle. Now the give is to Doe. Doe dancing his way down to the 45. On the final play of the third quarter, we've got a dandy. It was 21-7 Christian Academy at the half. Two touchdowns by Hilton Head Prep in the third quarter by Noah Sulik and by Teron Daly have made it a 21-21 game as we head to the fourth quarter on WHHI Sports TV. Have you been in the zone? Sports Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sports Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more. Sports Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sports Zone. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air. You know, it's duck hunting season, and I don't mean the kind that flies. If you don't keep your filter clean every month and it ends up looking like this, you're definitely going to need to call Covert Air today at 706-5090 and have us come out for a free second opinion, an energy savings agreement, or maybe even clean your duct work. That's Covert Air, 706-5090. I'm drinking Duncan. I'm just in love with the flavor. I get mine black. I don't want to take away from that pure taste. So smooth. No bitterness. It's awesome. There's no other taste like it. America runs on Duncan coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. You see the crowd here at Hilton Head Christian Academy on Halloween night. Ah, the joker. Watching over the Blue Men Group, watching over this game tonight as we begin the fourth quarter. We're going to unveil the scientific knowledge of our analyst Chuck Zapek. The Zapek Fatigue Index. You were looking out on the field during the quarter turnaround. What'd you see? I was counting the number of guys that out, down on one knee or had their hands on their hips and they, they had, Prep had more guys doing that than Christian Academy does, which is usually a sign of fatigue. So the Zapek Fatigue Index, Definitely. otherwise known as the ZFI, yes. indicates that Christian Academy has a little bit of advantage as we begin the fourth quarter at the Hilton Head Prep 45. The give is D'Angelo Clark. Clark inside the 40, 
horse collared and wrestled down at about the 35 yard line. Man, there's some tough play going on out there. Right? I mean, just that, the, the tackle right here by Sean on Connor just shows you how rough of a game it is. Teron Daly can't get there. 22 can't get there. That's Gavin Holbert, but boy, oh boy. Did another they finish Wal him off? Another Walgreens first down. Now at the 35 of Hilton Head Prep. Clark again wrestled down by the other Clark, Robert Clark. After a gain of about three, it'll bring down a second down at six. And the sack leader, Sean, Sean Topper, makes the play too. Number 59 in on the tackle. Strong play by the senior. We do not see Devontae Doe in the lineup. Maccarello flanked by D'Angelo Clark, fakes it to Clark. Maccarello's gonna take it this time over the right side. He is short of a first down. It'll be third down at about three for the Eagles. Watch 59 again. I mean, he plays this about as well as you can. It's the bottom of the screen there. He takes one of the trap block and he's being grabbed and he fights off that and he comes in and runs down Maccarello. What a play by Sean Topper. So third down at about two. All that weight training in the offseason paying off for him. Maccarello with 111 yards in the game and eight carries. He's going to keep it this time. Does not get pulled down behind the line of scrimmage. Instead, he gets it up to near the 25. That'll be enough for a first down if he crossed the 25. Let's see if he gets the spot. He does. What an effort. What an effort but on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Look at Maccarella elude Topper this time. Topper's got him dead to rights. Oh, oh my oh. good Lord. What, a, what an effort by both players. The tearaway jersey, huh? Now back into the diamond formation. Maccarello with Clark as the tailback. Gives it to Dolnick. They're trying to just parse out the carries, keep everybody as fresh as possible. Dolnick gets it down inside the 20. Well, that's a smart play. Get your biggest ball carry up there. Give him, give him a run between the tackles and let him see, what, you know, wear out the defense. Look at all the effort going in there to bring that guy down. Three, four guys go all out. Now that gives you a chance to run another play, go a little wide, see if the speedster can't beat him on the corner now. That's just his second carry, second and five now just inside the Hilton Head Prep 20. Maccarello fakes it to Dolnick. He's gonna keep it himself this time. Gets it down inside the 20, down to about the 18 yard line. Well, I tell you, for two teams that don't have a lot for this game, I mean, Hilton Head Christian Academy already is gonna get the home game in the playoffs, and Prep is out of it. And these guys are just going after it. What effort. It's called rivalry. It's called football, huh? We got a good one here oh, on the Cross classic. Island Bowl. A classic. Prep trying to break a six-game losing streak in this series. They would love to take Christian Academy down. The give. And down inside the 15, D'Angelo Clark. And that'll be enough for a first down. First down. Yeah, they uh, do like they all do. Wave at the camera when the camera's on you. There you go. <laughs> Another Walgreens first down. Uh, still a rookie when it comes to that. I know. Like you were in college, right? The officials have called timeout. Get the chain set up. We've got a Christian Academy offensive lineman having a hard time getting on his feet and getting off the field. At 65, Cameron Wilder, a senior, left guard. Look at the fatigue on those offensive linemen. They have been down in the trenches, beating on each other hard throughout this game. It is warm, it is humid, a little warmer and more sticky than we had expected. These guys are leaving it all out on the field, believe it or not. I'll tell you, believe me. Maccarello trying to fight his way toward the 10. Gain of a couple, will be second and eight. 
You know, I just have to admire Kevin Walton the defense he put in there. Now he switches to a three-man line and brings Aaron Daly up from the middle linebacker position who makes the initial hit behind the line of scrimmage. Good call by Coach Wall. Second down, and actually about nine. They spot him only getting about one. Dolanik flanking him on one side. Nick Perosi on the other side. D'Angelo Clark, the tailback, gets the pitch. Gets past one man, gets past two, gets down to the five yard line before he's finally pushed out of bounds by James Leonard. And it'll be a first down. The coaching staff for Christian Academy, almost as passionate as the players here early in this fourth quarter. They're trying to keep a six game winning streak alive. We've got a flag on the play and it's holding against Christian Academy. Well, you know who was that on the screen? That was Kevin Breedlove, the former Georgia Bulldog and Seattle Seahawk. <laughs> he helps out with the coaching staff here, doing a great job helping co Coach Ryan Mitch in his first year. Kevin's, a, Kevin's very intense, to say the least. Our good friend and uh, vice president of halftime shows, Tony Virgo. Second down and a lot of yardage, about 25 for Christian Academy. Maccarello back to throw, going down deep into double coverage. It's intercepted by Noah Sulik, but I think we're gonna have pass interference call. The flags are down and it could be interference. Xenon Parker, it is against Parker. Down by the goal line. Parker has seven interceptions in the year. His seventh coming earlier. Yeah. Here you can see he slips and falls. In order to keep the receiver from making the catch, he reaches out and grabs him in desperation from the ground. Good call by the official. A great acting job by Parker, though. The, <laughs> that, was, that was one of the better who me's that I have ever seen. Brings it back to the original line of scrimmage. Come on, Bobby, you can get your hand caught in the cookie jar. Well, and my why me, or who me, was not nearly that good. Second down and 10. So from second and 25, it's back to second and 10. The give is to D'Angelo Clark. Clark busts it down inside the 10 yard line. Ball comes loose. I think they're gonna rule it was down by contact. The Zapec fatigue index indicating that there will be some turnovers here in the fourth quarter, you think? Oh yeah. Boy, look at the hit. Clark put that time on Logan Mallet. Third down now, and about five. Ball is placed at the nine yard line. Maccarello trying to keep it and he is caught in the backfield and thrown down by number 59, Sean Topper. Well, I tell you, we've seen some outstanding performances by some running backs, but I've not seen anything from a defensive lineman this year what toppers happen tonight. We do have a flag on the play, and it was over near where the penalty was, or where the tackle was made, and it's a face mask call against Topper on the tackle. There comes the flag. And they're calling it from behind, underneath the helmet. Yeah. That's a shame. I mean, he's just going all out and inadvertently gets his hand caught. We got ourselves a barn burner here, Bob, on Halloween night. Third down and about three on the five yard face mask. Just under seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. We are tied at 21. The lonesome end of moving out for Christian Academy. Number 11, C.T. Davis. Look at him on the left hand side of your screen. And he's just out there as a decoy. Maccarella down near the goal line. He has stopped just short of the end zone, but that will be enough for a first down. A Walgreens first down for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Yeah, we got a cramp here on Noah Sulek too at the end of the play. He had a cramp earlier. Got to get that apple cider vinegar on the sideline somehow. First and goal. But again, Diavante Doe not in the lineup for Christian Academy. Maccarello hands it to his big back, Dolanik, Dolanik trying to get in. 
And we're waiting for the call. I don't see anybody raising their hands. Looked like he got very close to the end zone. They put it down just inches away from the goal line. And there's Second that man end. again, 59, Sean Topper, coming in, wrapping him up at the end of it and rolling him back, preventing him from getting into the end zone. Clark in there too, 55 at the bottom of it. Number 10, James Leonard also in on the play. Second and goal. We've got whistles before the dive into the end zone by Maccarello. Offside. Offside against Krep. Can't make it any closer. It'll still be second down. Half the distance. Half the distance will be take it from maybe six inches to wow. maybe still three. There's our cameraman, Julian. Still, still second down. Great shot. <laughs> All right. Second and goal, Meccarello. He's going to dive. He didn't go anywhere. And coming out with the football is Robert Clark. He thinks he came away clean with it, but they will rule it down. Third and goal. Yeah, Meccarello never really had control of the football. I tell you what. I tell you what. I think Clark's got That's a little rugby scrum. The ball came yeah. out the back, and I think Clark was had the right call. I think he might have. So on third and goal, they've been pushed back to the yard and a half line. Now it's Clark, and Clark is in the end zone. They held him out for a couple of plays, but finally, D'Angelo Clark pounds it into the end zone, and Christian Academy goes up 27 to 21. This time, Doe is in the backfield, but the ball doesn't go to him. It goes to D'Angelo Clark. His second touchdown of the game. Moise in for the extra point. Kicks it up and through. And with 4.56 left in the game, Hilton Head Christian Academy is now back ahead by a count of 28-21. On WHHI Sports TV. Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. Here we are at the Cross Island Bowl, 28-21. Hilton Head Christian leading Hilton Head Prep. They are ecstatic on the Christian Academy sidelines, but this one's a long way from over. <laughs> J.R. Moise kicks the squibber down the middle of the field. Teron Daly's gonna get it anyway at the 20. 25, 35. 45. Oh Could word. he go all the way? Oh, yes. There is a flag on the play, but Teron Daly has taken it 75 yards for a touchdown. We'll see if it comes back. Oh, my. The officials huddling at midfield. We saw Daly have a 90 yard run called back. Yes, last week. A dead ball foul against Christian Academy. Touchdown, Hilton Head Prep. A 75-yard touchdown run by Teron Daly. How about that? What an effort. What an effort. The senior, oh, we were talking about we need Devontae Doe to go somewhere next year. What do you think Teron Daly's going to go? Look at this. Hey, show this highlight film on YouTube. I think there'll be some people watching. What a great effort of speed and strength and will. Okay. 28-27. Waddy Brooks point. on for the extra point. The 110 pound freshman gets it up and it's good. 441 left. We're tied at 28 on WHHI Sports. 
State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team at 1-800-SURF-PRO. Like it never even happened. We welcome you back to the Eagle's Nest, where the pendulum has swung yet again. Hilton Head Prep runs back the kickoff after an eight-minute drive by Christian Academy. It's 28-28 after the penalty against Christian Academy. Hilton Head Prep will kick from the Eagle's 45-yard line. It's onside a, kick? I, I, it could be an onside kick. I would go with a squid kick or onside. I, I wouldn't kick it into the end zone. It's too much of an advantage. Yeah, Christian Academy is imagining that that could certainly happen. Their hands team is up. Waddy Brooks decides to kick the low line drive and kicks it into the end zone. So Christian Academy will get a chance to take a breath and then try to drive it down the field yet again. 28-28, this has been a dandy. Flu shots now available at every Walgreens store. Every day at Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. And at New River Auto Mall, they have it all. Over a thousand vehicles at 12 dealerships, all in one location. The Low Country's number one team for heating and air service, offering the highest level of customer satisfaction, Covert Air, the sponsor of the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. First down at the 20. The pitch back, Diavante Doe has it loose on the left-hand side. Pushed out of bounds by Daly. Well, this is the first time we've seen this play. It's a counter option. And you see he takes one step to the right and then comes back to the, to the left and pitches that way. Yeah, that's the ones they run at West Point. You know, out of the wishbone. They still run that wishbone at West Point. They do. They run the triple option for sure. C.T. Davis making a good block downfield for Christian Academy. First down at the 30. Now it's Doe again. Remember, he sat out most of that eight minute drive. So if there's anybody with a fresh pair of legs on the field right now, it would be Diavante Doe. And they just gave him two chances in a row. It's paid off. Looks like he's back full to full strength. He's almost at the 100 yard mark in the game. As Christian Academy on second down at about four. Doe again. Looks like he's got first down yardage. Up across the 36 yard line. It'll be short though. Hey, you can see the tired guys now. Look at prep. Yeah. See, look at the guys with the shirts out in the back and that sort of stuff. That's another sign of fatigue. If you're a defensive co coach or coordinator, you start looking at that. And start, if you can, you start substituting for those guys. Prep's got one timeout left. We'll see if they take it just to rest the defense here. Third down and two. The give, well, no give. Maccarello is going to keep it. He's going to get first down yardage. And a, a bunch of tired Dolphins finally wrestle him down. Maccarello's worn out as well. What a game. Yeah, there's, this has just been such a high intensity match between these two rivals here in the Cross Island Bowl. The ball right at midfield, 319 left. Tied at 28. Christian Academy trips to the bottom of the screen. The give is to Doe, finds some room to the top of the screen. Gets into the secondary, finally wrestled down by Tyler Fox, the quarterback for Hilton Head Prep. The last time Prep ran an offensive play was with about this much time left in the third quarter. Christian Academy, a time-consuming drive. They finally scored on third and one. Prep ran back the kickoff. 
for a touchdown. And now Christian Academy is milking the clock and driving it down the field again. First and 10 at the 33. Maccarello grabbed by Sean Topper and finally wrestled down after a gain of just a couple. Look how long it is taking the prep players to get up after they make the play. Sean Topper doing a great job of fighting off the block. Robert Clark also in on the tackle and Teron Daly. We've got an official's timeout. We got a player down on the field with cramps. Sean Topper is helping out. It looks like it might be Daly. Nope, I see Daly up at the top of the screen. It, it's uh, it's Clark. Robert Clark, yeah. Robert Clark, 55. We've got a Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro of Buford County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in. Cookies come out. One more time. Hand in. Cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Robert Clark walks off the field under his own power. It'll be second down and about eight for Christian Academy. Just over two minutes left. Maccarello. Faking the play action, he's going to keep it himself. He breaks into the secondary, down the sidelines, and dances into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Brad Maccarello goes into the end zone. The Christian Academy leader, their quarterback, 32-yard touchdown run. Well, it wasn't Doe running in for a touchdown, but Devante Doe threw the block that sprung him, got him on the corner. Mike Dillon, 59, Logan Toomer, 55, and Thomas Glover, 52, led the way around that side. J.R. Molise makes the extra point. You know, the two kickers are nine for nine in extra points in this game. They have been perfect. This game has been just about perfect. I tell you, it has been a classic. 35-28, Christian Academy has the lead with 2.07 left. With WHHI Sports TV. Mom calls us her dynamic duo. We turn off lights that aren't being used. And other stuff. She says we're saving the planet, but we know we save her gobs of money too. We're saving energy by turning things off. What can you do? Find out at TogetherWeSave.com. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at the South Beach Marina and get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. There's going to be a lot of salt <laughs> taken in by the players in this game. The Zapec fatigue index, by the way, was tied during that last break. Every player on the field was down. 35-28, <laughs> Christian Academy leads. Prep has two minutes and seven seconds left. If their Daly's offensive there. players didn't also have to play defense, their offense would be fresh coming on the field. But Daly's not in there. Yeah. The kick is deep. It is taken by Tyler Fox, the quarterback. Moves it up across the 30-yard line. Or the 20-yard line, rather, and goes down at about the 22. Two minutes and two seconds left. Saw Ryan Mitch on the sidelines. 
That was, was going to be a about pass it. to the other side yeah. to Noah Sewell. That was, that's why Dilley wasn't in there. Yep. Yeah. He was going to start it. left and then throw the ball back right. And they didn't pull it off. The kick was a little too short to execute that, but they did have a trick play in there. The old Tennessee Titan throwback play. Yeah. That's it. Tyler Fox in at quarterback. Teron Daly behind him. The fake is to Daly. They wheel it outside, and it's Noah Sulik. He's getting into the open field. And finally dragged down across midfield. A Walgreens first down on a gain of almost 30 by Noah Sulik. There is a flag down on the play, though. At the end of the play, it'll be a face mask against Hilton Ed Christian. It's 15 yards closer. If it's not an incidental. You can see it at the end of the yeah, play. Yeah, Clark, D'Angelo Clark, it looks like may have gotten a hold of it just across yeah. before he got to midfield. Well, the thing makes cowards of us all is what Vince Lombardi said. I sort of like to misquote it. I think the TIG makes you mistake prone. I think so. And that's what I think he meant. There was no cowardly play there. No, there sure. wasn't. It was all made aggressively. It makes you mistake prone. Yep. Tyler Fox, empty backfield, 140 left. Prep down by a touchdown. Fox in trouble, rolling left, dumps it off. And the ball is loose. I don't think it was caught, though. Andrew Spencer was the intended receiver. It'll be second and 10. Great job by here by Tyler Fox to avoid the rush. He's got a clear rusher coming right at him. D'Angelo Clark, Clark, who is still going full speed in the fourth quarter. Give him credit for that, offense and defense. Balls at the 33, second and 10, a minute 33 left. Fox to Gardaki. Gardaki with some running room. Gets it down to about the 25, just short of the first down. It'll be third down on about two. Cole Gardaki's fifth catch of the game. Ball delivered on time by the sophomore quarterback, Tyler Fox. He has been very accurate job. in this game. Yep. Every ball has been catchable. Under a minute to play. We've got a flags thrown. May have taken too much time. Five yards against prep. Now instead of third and one, it's third and six. And Noah Sulik, number three, is having a hard time staying out in the field right now. Yeah. That could affect him because he's going to be, it's third and six. Clock is running. Fox throwing and one hopping his receiver. Intended receiver, I think it was intended for Gardaki. Or no, intended for Sulik, yeah. Fourth down. 39 seconds left. Ball's underthrown, and yep. it really isn't Sulik's fault. Really the first bad throw we've seen Tyler Fox make. Bob, here's the game. On this the is line. it. Yep, the officials stop play before they start the clock. Timeout called by Christian Academy. We're going to keep it right here. The Cross Island Bowl inside 39 seconds left. Both teams just trying to catch their breath before these final plays of the game. Boy, this has been a classic. Butler, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, your All-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Glad to be a part of the proceedings tonight. And of course, Covert Air, our sponsor all season long, the Low Country's number one team for heating and air service, offering the highest level of customer satisfaction. Thirty-five twenty-eight in favor of Christian Academy. There you see the training staff, Christian Academy, taking a look at one of the Eagles there, number sixty-five. That's. Cameron Wilder, who had to come off the field earlier. Fourth down and six. I like this formation. 
Get Daly behind the quarterback. Trips to the bottom Trips of your screen. Trips to the wide side of the field. Sulek to the top of the screen. And we've got whistles again. Timeout called by Hilton Head Prep, and that is their last timeout. A second ran off the clock. <laughs> that they're not going to get back that either. That not going to get back, yeah. <laughs> it's tough on the road. I tell you what, this has been a great one, though. You like the formation that... Uh, Prep came out in. Yeah, it did. It's three receivers to the wide field, and then you got Teron Daly back back behind the quarterback. It gives you a lot of options. And, and Sulik on the short side. Yeah, yeah. And I, I would I would get Daly somewhere out into the middle of the uh, into get the wide side. Get him in some space. Sure. Yeah. You know, pitch the ball to him, come down the line, run a down the line option. To that wide side of the field yes, where you've yeah. got three guys who can go down and make a block option down field. Option works best to yeah. where you have your wide receivers. Andrew Spencer, the furthest wide. Cole Gardaki in the slot. 35-28. Christian Academy by a touchdown. 38 seconds left. Give Daly some room to juke. Fourth and seven. Fox does not hand the ball to Daly. Throws it over the middle and throws it behind Noah Sulik. Eagles hold. They'll take over on downs with 34 seconds left. Oh, that's a shame. Miscommunication. It definitely was. Sewell comes in, runs a square in route, you see him just come right through there, and he's not even looking for the ball. Now, ball was behind him. He was already through there before he even knew the ball had been thrown. And Christian Academy is liable to hold on to this one. What a game. Well, certainly, it's, we expected a high scoring game, and we thought that prep would have to score something in the mid 30s to win and that's what it would have taken that's what it would have taken in the victory formation brad meccarello takes a knee neither team has a timeout left the officials informing him whether or not he's got to do it one more time or whether they're done as the clock ticks down what a great game what a great effort by the prep seniors in their final game we'll have our lava 24 fitness mvp Announced after the game, you've cast your vote. I've cast my vote. We actually agree. We do. We do. And we'll have that presentation coming up here in just a moment. On senior night, the Eagles have won for the seventh straight time in this great rivalry. The Cross Island Bowl belongs to Hilton Head Christian. They beat Hilton Head Prep 35-28. Some final thoughts, Chuck? Well, I just thought that it was a fantastic game. Both teams showed end of season form. They really executed well at times, and they were able to get the ball into spaces where their playmakers could could really could show their stuff. And certainly we saw that on both sides of the line of scrimmage. At times they got fatigued, but they were playing at such a high level, it's not surprising that we had players cramping up and players that made a few mistakes. But uh, in all, it was just an exciting football game, and I don't think anybody should be hanging their head low after tonight's game on either side of the ball. Just a great effort by the players from prep, and it's quite a way to go out for them. Uh, even though it's not a victory, it was certainly was a, a great effort. Hilton Head Prep finishes its second season under Kevin Wald, five and five, but there is much promise on the south end of the island. Hilton Head Christian wins its seventh consecutive game. They head to the playoffs next week. We'll be back with the Cross Island Bowl trophy presentation and our Lava 24 Fitness MVP award as you listen to Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. On WHHI Sports TV. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air, the Low Country's leader in HVAC service repair, replacement, and maintenance. Summertime tip for you with the heat on, when you're outside cutting the grass, don't forget your air conditioner when you're done. All those grass clippings can cause the air conditioner to clog up. Be good to your AC and take a water hose and spray off the fins. Your air conditioner will thank you. Thanks a lot. Sound 
down south east sitting by the dog singing a song about a salted dog honey won't you be the salted dog at Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head. Now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota. From Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. Have you been in the zone? Sports Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sports Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more, Sports Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sport Zone. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. I'm just in love with the flavor. I get mine black, I don't want to take away from that pure taste. So smooth, no bitterness, it's awesome. There's no other taste like it. America runs on Duncan coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Bob Stevens, Mike Covert, and our winning coach, Ryan Mitch. Hilton Head Christian Academy survives 35-28. Yeah. A lot of tired football players sitting behind you. You got any gas left? <laughs> no, I, I probably have the worst headache I ever had in my life. But it, it, there too many more of those, and, and I'm not going to last long. Tell me about it. Tell me about the game. Uh, the, the, the prep prep didn't, didn't give up? No, I mean, they probably had the best game that, uh, defensively that, uh, against our offense for the whole year. You know, we had some gaps, we, and basically we just killed ourselves with, with holding penalties down there and down the field. And, you know, they, uh, Daly's the, probably the best back we've played all year. And he broke a couple long ones, you know, outside of the, outside of the kick return for a touchdown mm -hmm. after the, you know, 10-minute drive or whatever we had. So, it's, you know, it, it's a, it was a game full of momentum swings. You know, Coach, this was, prob for me, this was the most exciting game of the year. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, you didn't mean it to be that no. way. I didn't mean it to be, yeah. But, you know, the play from uh, the quarterback, Macarello Doe, yeah. uh, I was impressed with Bill Jack. Yeah. Dolinick, uh, Reese Dolinick's play was phenomenal. Yeah. Really, everybody sitting behind us did a fantastic job. Yeah. But I tell you what, for excitement level, yeah. Hilton Head Island just kicked it up two notches. Oh, good. Uh, you know, if you guys have us back on air next year, hopefully it won't be that exciting. But uh, <laughs> it was an exciting game. 
Devonte okay? Uh, he yeah. didn't play much of, of yeah. that ten minute drive down the field, and and that actually helped you because he was a little rested when you guys got the ball right back yeah, after yeah. the kickoff. He return. was, and he took a helmet to the knee, got a little treatment on the sideline real quick, and you know even on that first touchdown drive, he, he got back in there and said, "I want the ball, I want the ball." So uh, that's nice when a player wants that, you know, in a big situation. So. You came out tonight and and ran the ball like you've always run it all year, but yeah. then the touchdowns yeah. though, two of the three touchdowns the first half yeah. came through the air. Yeah, I mean the the the, uh, the first one was on a little wheel route. We've yeah. been running the, the back out into the flat, and they kind of jumped it, and he just turned up the sideline and and scored. And uh, the second one was a uh, was a play that we used in my state championship game back in high school. <laughs> just a little bit different look out of the shotgun, but basically the tight end trips and pretends like he falls and rolls to the back of the end zone for. Uh, Usually a lot more wide open than that, but that was a little closer. Mike, you want to hand over the hardware? Absolutely, and uh, you know, we've got a uh, big crowd down here with us uh, right on the edge of the field, fans. And um, Coach, I tell you what, on behalf of the staff of Covert Air and the thousands of uh, uh, satisfied customers all over Beaufort County, here is the uh, trophy for the Cross Island Bowl 2013. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Good job. <laughs> Excellent job. All Excellent right. job. We are going to be right back. We're going to give away the Lava 24 Fitness Player of the Game Award. When we continue here at Hilton Head Christian Academy, the Eagles triumphant in the Cross Island Bowl, 35-28 over Hilton Head Prep. Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. players played well tonight and, and put their hearts on the line for this game. So many Eagles as well. D'Angelo Clark behind you, Devante, your offensive line. Brad Maccarello, though, our Lava 24 fitness player of the game. Nate Dixon's here from Lava 24. Hand over the hardware. Nate, congratulations, Thank Brad. Thank Great you. game again Thank offensively you. and defensively from, from all of us at Hilton Head um, Lava 24 fitness. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Uh, first half, you guys kind of get things going your own way. You got to throw a couple of touchdown passes. Yeah, that yeah, no yeah, that was nice. Uh, I mean, we're, we're getting better each week at passing the ball, and the receivers are getting more crisp. Um, so that was fun to do. Um, but I mean, we started off right, right away with passing the ball. But um, once we got, we started off. It got a little sluggish, and. Um, we just had to find a way to get the W. The game really turned with that 10-minute drive that, that ate up most of the fourth quarter. Uh, you guys, everybody had a chance. Everybody was a part of that drive. Yes, they? sir. Yeah, Devonte, D'Lo, the line, everyone did their job on that. Um, uh, Devonte was a powerhouse, a power horse for us. I mean, he just took the ball and he'd get 10 yards a pop, 15 yards a pop, and he just did his thing. So uh, he uh, he uh, deserves just as much as I do, but. He did his thing. Now, you're not on the kickoff team, are you? I'm not. So, so after you get the touchdown, you're going over, you're hoping to get at least a, a few seconds before you have to go back out. Yeah. And they run back to kick for a touchdown, you got to go back out on the field. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was heartbreaking. But, I mean, give it up to, to Tehran and Prep. I mean, they, they really gave up a fight for the last game, and uh, it was impressive for them. All right. Nate, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for the award, and congratulations thank again you. to Brad. Good luck next week in the playoffs. Thank you, thank you. And good luck to the Hilton Head, or Hilton Head Christian Academy Eagles. They go on in the Skeesa playoffs that begin next week. Season's over for Hilton Head Prep at 5-5. Five and five. These Eagles have now won seven in a row. We've got one more game for you next week as well as Bluffton hosts Somerville on WHHI Sports. We'll see you then.